crunchy a bear cheered dex 600 happy birthday scar hope it's a great stream and day me and my 17 month old are dancing to the music in the starting stream Hello. I started out with a good, a good, a good intro there. And a good, I had a good intro going. It was great. It was fabulous. It was wonderful. As I was saying, I'm so glad you and your baby are dancing to the music and welcome everybody to the stream. Super glad to have you all get on in, get on in. We're gonna have some super fun today and and yeah, we're gonna actually we're gonna we're gonna have like a major chill stream and it's gonna be freaking amazing. It's going to be freaking amazing. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Welcome, everybody. Get on in. Get on in. Um, oh, Jem's coming in here. Jem, hello, Jem. <laughs> Jem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you so, so, so much for that. That's very generous of you and very, very much appreciated. That's incredible. Thank you very, very, very much. The The chat is just going absolutely wild. So <laughs> thank you. Um, but yeah, welcome, everybody. I don't know. Have you got to uh... oh, you got a new badge? Let's go. Um, have you guys got to see the new episode today yet? Have you? Have you? Have you? Have you seen the new episode? <laughs> uh let's see. OK, thank you so much for the prime. Very much appreciate. There's so many messages. It's hard even it's hard to even catch one. Uh, just uh, Mark Online, thank you for the six months. Very much appreciated. Uh, Mrs. Buffin, thank you for the subscription. Very much appreciated. Mama Six Pets, good to see you again. Good to see you. Coming in at 43 month resubscription. Very much appreciated. Once again, like I said, good to see you. Um, way to celebrate 43 months on Scar's birthday. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you intend. Thank you for the seven month resubscription. Worldwide, Muggy, thank you for the 11 months. Just one more month in an entire year. Um, happy birthday, Scar. Well, I appreciate that very much uh let's see Chibolo, thank you for the 14 month very much appreciated um shade water thank you for the 19 woo, 19 month resubscription wow thank you so much very much appreciated Anx, thank you for the two gifted subscriptions very much appreciated sweller thank you for the prime very much appreciated uh let's see 180 thank you for the six months the chat's moving so fast uh let's see uh greg denny thank you for the 25 month resubscription that's incredible. Ink Donkey, thank you for the 13 months. And little thank you for the 12 months. That's, that's, ah, uh, whoa. Whoops. Almost, almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> you guys are gonna blast me out of my chair. Uh, let's say Mary J. Skywalker, thank you for the nine month resubscription. You're probably fun to talk to Star Wars about. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, yeah, well, thank you guys so, 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 so very much. Very, very much appreciated. The jelly cat! The je The jelly cat coming in at 72 month resubscription. <laughs> oh, jelly, look what you've done. Look what you've done, jelly cat. You knocked my headphones right off the top of my head. <laughs> oh, you, knocked the, you knocked them right off the top of my head. Oh my god. All right. My hair is way too long. It's making it very difficult. It's making it difficult. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're here. We're alive. <laughs> uh, let's see, Mr. Oz, thank you for the prompt. Before you lay your head to rest, ask yourself, did I grind enough to make the great goat leader proud? It's just maybe not proud. The answer is always, you could have done more. Yeah, could we have done more to cover his perimeter? What could we have done more? Take down the flag? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Let me check with the chat here. Uh, Loki, okay, thank you for the bits. Very much appreciate. Happy birthday, Scar. Train me in your MCC ways. <laughs> um. Well, uh, yeah, we can give you some ideas here. So you need a scroll. Scroll is very, very important to your MCCing. Okay, that's one. You need a crystal ball. 
I can't reach it, but it's over there. You need a crystal ball in your in your corner and also a lightsaber. These are all fundamental I butchered that word. These are all fundamental things that will make your MCC more enjoyable and more fun. It's a fact. Speaking of MCC, let's just take a minute here to appreciate something that I received in the mail, by the way. Oh, rascal. Right, the a avatar, avatar, avi I What is wrong with me today? Aviators, aviators, you need your aviators. But I actually got something in the mail, all right? I got it from Scott in the Royal Mail. You know you're getting something exciting if you get something in the Royal Mail. There's a big royal seal and a crown on it. It's like, dang, this is going to be good. good and morning. time to rise and grind. Why do you because ruin my life, Doc? the early goat will not be left behind. What will you automate today so we can thrive Automate together. your face. Okay. Always remember, this is the goat's world. Yeah. Just live in it. Yeah, well, you don't even have a world anymore. Okay, so <laughs> I got this in the Royal Mail. As I said, only the best of things come in the Royal Mail and from Scott, too. And it was boop, an MCC coin. Look at that. Season three MCC coin. And uh, yeah, it comes in this like sweet box now. Look at that. Look at Scott going all out here. Look at this. Come on, focus for me. Focus, focus. Can barely focus it's i think it's on manual focus that might be the problem but yeah it's a really really cool coin for season three i wish you guys could see that better i wish you could see that um but yeah it comes in this really sweet box so yeah huge thanks to scott and the nox crew as always um but yeah this is my second coin this is of course one um with the great team, one of my favorite all-time best teams. And I said it during the MCC, regardless of if we won or not, that was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite MCCs with Rambu, AMZ, and Ant Frost. Just a wonderful team. Absolutely love them. They're the best. Um, so yeah, now we have a fun coin to commemorate that awesome team. Ah, I love MCC. Just the best. Uh, let's see. Star Guy, thank you for the month three subscription. Very much appreciated. And Hagala, thank you for the prime. Very much appreciated. And Shadow, 1313, thank you for the 10 gifted subscriptions. Let's go. Very much appreciated. Uh, so, uh, man, I'm so good at pronouncing people's names. It is really like a true skill of mine that people come from far and wide to hear. Uh, let's see. Sam Willa, thank you for the bits. Very much appreciated. Wolf Queen, thank you for the gifted subscription. Very much appreciated. Uh, thanks a lot on Twitch. Thank you for the four month. Very much appreciated. Um, let's see. Let's see. Happy birthday, Scar. You and my mom shared the same birthday, which is cool. That's awesome. Tell your mom happy birthday from me. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let me check with the chat. So, how are you guys doing? We love how you pronounce words. <laughs> It's a problem. What did I say last? I think my last butcher of a word was was like charcuterie, charcuterie, I butchered charcuterie board. I'm not even sure I could actually say it correctly. It turns out. Uh, let's see. West Side Crip 69. Thank you for the five gifted subscriptions. Very much appreciated. And Andrew and Debo, thank you for the 17 month subscription. Very much appreciated. Um, how's Jelly doing? She's doing good, actually. She's doing good. She had her birthday yesterday. Um, she's a nuisance, but, you know, we still love her um let's see let's see let's see you guys are doing good I pre i'm glad to hear that did i turn 41 I turn 41 you know it was bad enough when the internet said i was 38 you know it's actually been a couple of years now and now they're saying i'm 40. i'm as salty about that as doc's announcements <sighs> you, uh, have i told you guys the story of why the internet thinks that i'm like 42 or 40 something now I've ever told you the story. It goes so far back to like. When was it? When would it have been? It had to, had to have been like 2013 or 14. Yeah, it probably it probably would have to go back to about 2013 or 14 for sure. <laughs> it definitely would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of annoyed somebody and that is the reason. <laughs> It's Jensen's kind of the reason. X2 -O 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 -O. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, my friend. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um. 
<laughs> yeah, it was, it was good times. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. I'm not a boomer. LXRD tipped ten dollars. Happy birthday from Finland. Oh, thank you, Finland. Thank you so much for that. Very much appreciated. Consequences. Oh yeah, we touched your redstone dock. Oh, we touched it. Um, I saw it on the chat. It went by really quick, but uh, yes, I am going to PAX. Um, if you are going to PAX West in Seattle, um, I'll be there on Sunday and Monday. And on Monday, we are doing a panel for Gamers Outreach, Child's Play, and Seattle Children's to talk about um, all the charity stuff and the Hermitcraft charity event. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. So if, you, if you're if you at PAX, um, definitely stop by the panel and uh, wave, say hi, call me over, whatever. I want to meet any and everybody, uh, as always, at events. Like, you know, if, if you're there, don't feel shy don't feel anything just feel comfortable to come up and, and you know introduce yourself I, I always love 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 to meet each and every one of you so uh, I always get sad when people are like you know I just didn't think I could say hi and I'm like no please say hi please say hi please say hi and it's it's always fun to meet I have not got to meet you guys or see you guys in person since 2019 and I mean the last time was Nashville and then Seattle for Mind Fair. And just the amount of cool people you meet is so... Like, I met a submarine sonar officer once. It was like, dude, there's so, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Happy birthday, Scar. You are an inspiration. Oh, Trevor Carrots, thank you so much for that. Very much appreciated. Very, very, very much. Very, very much. Um, let's see, Day81, thank you for the five gifted subscriptions. Very much appreciated. Very much. Um, but yeah, you always meet so many cool people. Uh, uh, let's see, where is PAX? It is in Seattle. It's at the new convention center. So here's the deal, right? <laughs> here's the deal. I always get my tickets to conventions way too late. And I never get like the good hotel right next to the convention center. And this time, this time I did. I did. I got the Sheraton across the street, literally like 10 feet from the door. And when we were having our like talk about like kind of what we're going to do for the panel and stuff. And uh, <laughs> Travis, the child's play guy, he's like, oh, yeah, it's in the new new convention center. And I'm like, what? What? And it's like three or four blocks away. And I'm like, dang it. Ariane 231 sheared Dex 1000. Happy cake day. Happy cake day. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, everybody on the panel from Travis to Zach and everybody, it's going to be really cool. And it's been just amazing to meet these um, these fabulous people who work at these charities. They are so incredibly nice. Um, and some of them are Herbert Craft fans. It's always cool. Dex 500. Happy birthday, Scar. I love the new episode. Oh, I'm glad you do. I'm glad you do. We actually had two episodes this week. I've spoiled you guys this week. I have spoiled you with episodes. Um, uh, let, will, will the panel be filmed? It will, I do believe. Yes. Do I take yes or letters in person? Of course. Um, yes, I believe it will be streamed. I'll have more information on that later. But yeah, definitely check the PAX website. Look for the, the panel on Monday. Um, I don't know if I'm still not listed as a guest on the panel thing. It would be good for people to search. I don't know if it's on there yet, but I am I am there. I'll give more information. There's also a, 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 on the Discord I posted it and the social media platform so formerly known as Twitter. Um, I posted a link there. And to jelly. Hope all is well. Uh, but yeah. All right. Let's get let's get busy, guys. Let's get busy. I have something to tell you. I broke something of my own this time, not somebody else's. That's right. Um, where's the right button? Boom. Bam. Turn on Minecraft. <laughs> Come on, Minecraft. I believe in you. I've believed in you since 2010. I know you can do it. I know you can show up for me. Thank you. I appreciate that. <sighs> yeah, I needed a crystal ball to show. <laughs> Definitely needed the uh, the crystal ball. Okay. So I... Um... Broke something.
Do you know where I'm going? You know, Let you know, you know where these thousand. these doors Happy lead. Birthday, Scar. <sighs> Please train me in your MCC ways. I shall do. I, I I thought I I thought I trained you guys right. If you want to master your MCC skills, there are certain things you need, and I'm gonna grab them. Hold on. Wheelie Bimp cheered X500. Happy birthday. Okay, I got it all, guys. I got it all. Day. Oh, no, 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 no. Woo. Oh, caught that. Look at the skills right there, guys. You know, you can't count a man out. He may be in a wheelchair, but he's still got some skills left. Okay, here we go. Good all right, here night. we go. <sighs> Top notch skills, right? Rest, Come on now. Okay. Did I grind enough to make the great goat leader proud? Terra glows tip the answer is always dark. On you your birthday, I want you to know how talented, passionate, and creative you are. You're all so funny, kind-hearted, and quirky in all the best ways. Thanks for sharing yourself with us. You always have our love, friendship, and support. Thank you. Thank you. That's a very, very nice message. I very much appreciate that. Very, very, very much. There goes. Thank you for the support. That's very nice. Very nice. Okay, wow, that was very nice of you. You, you got me all discombobulated. Okay, all right. Do you want to be the top MCC champion? Do you want to take down those other teams? For all those MCC risers out there, the true skills don't lie in your fingers, in your quick reflexes, your knowledge, your movement. No, they lie in crystal balls. Boom, crystal balls. They tell you your future. See? Crystal ball, boom. Also, scrolls of scrolls. That's right, you need a scroll. You need to mark down all of your things. You need to mark down your rules. Your 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 different uh, words you like to put in your scrolls. Very important. What else do you need? Playing Rocket Spleef? There's only one true way to pro play Rocket Spleef, and that's in the danger zone. And you gotta have your aviators. Gotta have your aviators, and best of all, best of all, a lightsaber. Always have a lightsaber by your hand. Ready to roll, and that is the true way to get yourself a coin. There you go. There you go. That's the tips. Those are tips from me. You can clip that. Share that. Ah, two coins. That is correct. That's, that is Good very morning. correct. Shut up, dog! Time to rise and grind, because only the early goat will not be left behind. What will you automate today so we can thrive together? I'll tell you what I didn't Always automate, remember, my storage system. This is the goat's world. You just, just live, live in it. it. You can tell I'm starting to memorize this. Yeah, I uh, I broke my storage system. Uh, but that's not, that's that's genuinely not the worst part of this. Hold on, let me dump my inventory in a nice chest to disorganize. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. That's great. That's good stuff right there. That's good stuff. You love to see it. You do, you do, you do, you do. Okay. So. <sighs> this is Happy frustrating. Birthday, Scar. No oh, thank you very much. You very, now, very much. I know you will always be a child at heart. <laughs> much love, man. That's probably true, my friend. That's probably true. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. What what did, what did Azuma say here? Did Azuma say something? We should automate a mute. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, so what happened was, uh, this is really bad. Um, okay. So let's Happy see, let's go up here. Mr. Good times. Less than three. <laughs> Mr. Good times. Uh, thank you so much. Very much appreciate it. There are so many announcements. It is unbelievable. Um, it is unbelievable. A creeper happened? No, something else. Okay, so what happened was I had the storage system running, so the storage system was cruising, doing its storage thing, and a minecart, or actually three minecarts, snuck up the elevator where there's supposed to be an item for them, clogged the system, and all the minecarts despawned. So that means all of these chests of the minecarts are all despawned. They're gone, entirely gone. Wicked, thank you so much for the uh, the birthday message. Very much appreciated. There's the messages are so backed up when when Scarvis goes off. Like I don't even know who it is because it's so backed up. Um, but yeah, all of these are gone. These in, these all these chests were full. Three dollars. Happy birthday, Scar. Love your builds. They have inspired me to make my own. Still can't make trees though. I hope you have an amazing birthday. Have you not heard? 
about the scar dirt method. The dirt method revolutionized tree making. It is simple, it is easy, and very effective. Use the scar dirt method today. X500. My tip message didn't go through, so I'm sending bits. Scar, on your birthday, I want you to know how talented, passionate, and creative I think you are. You're also funny, kind hearted, and quirky in all the best ways. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Thanks terrible. for sharing yourself with us. You always have our love, friendship, and support. Double message, yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you. Um, but you know, when trees, trees, we'll talk about trees when we get to landscaping today, but um, we'll talk about it. It's really not that hard. You just got to get in the right mindset. Um, but yeah, we'll also try to fix this stupid thing. So what happened was, right, I told you the minecarts got up the chute. They blocked it. All the items uh, despawned. I tried to fix it. I broke the water stream. Water flowed down. It broke all the redstone down here. <sighs> Sad. <laughs> but we won't leave that for another day. Another day to be sure. Another day to be sure. Okay. So we're going to try to avoid spoilers because Impulse has built the turnstiles and they are amazing. Um, but what we're going to be working on is this. We cannot Mythical be having this thing floating. Looks so ugly. So yeah, we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that. We're going to have some fun. So guys, who's excited? Who's excited? It's my birthday, so I'm allowed to talk about all my annoying topics. Star Wars, rockets ranting about how frustrated I am with Bob Iger, you know, the, all the normal things, my love for Gur, you know, it, it, it's, 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 it's my birthday. So I get the, I get the rant about it all. Happy birthday, Scar. Appreciate you so much, my friend, GTWS Scarland. Doc's done. We just, we just muted Doc. He's done. By the way, nobody knew how to do that until like halfway through the perimeter build. You can be my wingman anytime. I can be your wingman? Wait, hold on. What was this wingman business? Chidow thief tipped ten dollars. I want to be a wingman. Watch, but happy birthday. I want to be a wingman. Let's see. Hold on. Where was that message? I can't find it. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. We need to get to work. So let's grab some dirt if we still have some. I know I kept, I kept a little bit of dirt on the side because I knew I had some other projects to do. Luckily we had enough. I burnt through 60. I think personally in the end, I needed more than the 50 that I had. I think I went up to like 61 or 62, um, shulker boxes, but I still had a little bit of extra. <laughs> I still had a little extra because I knew I needed it for this build coming up. So I saved a little on the side because I knew I had this. You guys want to see the perimeter real quick? Okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll take a little look at it. We'll take a little look at it. Look at because there's nothing to be seen. That's right. The perimeter is gone. Look at it. Entirely gone. Now, I did highly disagree with the use of the flowers. I thought we should all go through here and remove every one of the flowers. But uh, yeah, I got uh, vetoed on that hardcore. <laughs> I got vetoed on that hardcore, but I still think it would have been the wise move, right? Right? It's all a dream. No, it's not a dream. It's real. This is this is all real. This is real. The perimeter is gone. Guys, bait. I just, I just took Doc's. I, I just really discombobulated words in my head. Doc's base is under here. It's gone. It's gone. What happened? You got to watch today's video. That's what you got to do. You got to watch today's video. You got to watch it. You got to you got to keep up with the videos. It's gone. Look at it. <laughs> Anyways, he's, let's pop. Oh, oh my gosh. That thing is drifting hardcore. Uh, Doc, sorry about the perimeter, but can you fix this? This thing is drifting forward. Oh, gosh, it's getting really close to the base. <laughs> it's getting really close to the base. Let's not let's ignore that for the day. What up, Buttercup? Ow. OK, let's get to work here. So let's figure out what we're going to do today. So I've got. Oh man, I've got a really good idea for the entrance to Scarland. 
You thought that was the entrance? Ha, <laughs> joke's on you. Turns out there's more. This is a good one, guys. This is a good one. That was like the shack meme. Um, okay. All right. So I've got a really good idea for this. It's you guys are going to love it when you see it. So hopeful a parking lot. I was going to do a parking lot, but I would literally have to put the parking lot in Green's base. So there probably won't be a parking lot unless I put the parking lot like over here, maybe, which is a possibility. Um, no, it, it's something else. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Plus all the landscaping that's going to fill in this area is going to look really cool. I've got some. I got some really exciting ideas for it. Anyway, let's get to work here. Um, so we just need to clean this up and make it look more presentable. Then we got to clear that out, fix the storage system and a whole lot more. And let's get to work. Um, but yeah, no, I've got I've got some fun ideas. It's going to be sweet. Hello. Oh, it, it is. It is. You know, I just realized the music never came on. I never just realized that. Blast voice 100 I still love the game came on. $3. Sorry, but I wanted to hear the voice say this. For the second time since 2018, I have become self-aware again. Happy birthday, Captain Scar. Oh, well thank <laughs> thank you very much. Um thank you for the thank you thank you guys all around. Thank you so much for all the birthday messages. They're very very much appreciated. I love the video buttercup. Thank you for using the catchphrases, by the way, guys. I see it. I see it and I appreciate it. You know, we, we work so hard to have these catchphrases and we don't use the catchphrases. They're fabulous catch catchphrases, important catchphrases, and we have neglected and not used them. Unbelievable. A new real estate has opened up next to Scarlet. Uh, let's see. Does the website still think you're old? Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you about that. Hold on. There was a there was an email I got from this person from Famous Birthdays, I think it was, and this was so long ago, so long ago. And I'm trying to remember exactly how this went, but they wanted like a bunch of information, not only my birthday, but a bunch of other like personal information. And I was like, ah, no, thank you. And I just ignored the email. And I remember I was on the way to the, to the hospital for an infusion. I remember getting an email back. I was like, okay, we didn't get a response back for the third time. So uh, we're just going to assume that it's going to be this and we're going to put this on the website. And it was like, at the time it was like 30 something. I was like, what? <laughs> and I'm just like, I, I just don't have the energy or the, or the care. And so this person basically spitefully uh, just made my birthday like way older than it should have been. <laughs> this is a long time ago because I didn't respond. So you might have noticed that we're starting to go out over the water. This terraforming is actually going to probably get covered up, but we're going to have to reform this entire cliff, which is fine. Just fun, chill content. I love it. I love and I haven't done it enough of it, but just like really chill um terraforming on stream is one of my absolute favorite things to do and we've done so little of it recently it's crazy anyway let's check with the chat here oh we've got a wild false raid welcome raiders welcome welcome come on board climb on board we're just hanging out giving mcc tips crystal ball and uh, i hope you guys had a wonderful time um with false and welcome to stream welcome 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 all right all right, here we go. Who who's excited for Ahsoka? Worldwide Demokni cheered Dex 500. Greetings, King. Happy birthday, Scar. Your content always makes me happy. You are the silliest of silly Minecraft YouTubers. And as I'm still watching the entirety of Hermitcraft, every puff every season, it is fun to see you grow. Hope you have a fantastic day, you and Jelly. Oh. Dude, that was a nice message. I very much appreciate that. Very, that was very nice of you. Um, dude, we should, you know, speaking of like growing, we should do a video or a stream or something where we like watch like, what if we watched like just bits and pieces of like my first episodes of Hermitcraft, like every season? There is like a cool like change over time and stuff like that. So yeah, we could definitely do that. That's a yeah, you gave me a good idea. You gave me a good idea. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Very much appreciate it. Um, yeah, are we excited about Ahsoka? 
What am I what am I most excited about Ahsoka? Dave Filoni. That's what I'm most excited about. Dave Filoni is our is our one true savior. The Dop and Sheared X500 sadly can't stay the full stream, but I just want to thank you for your awesome content. I'm a relatively new Hermitcraft fan, but it's been what? helping me get through the summer less than three. Hope you and Jelly have an amazing birthday. Oh, that was very nice of you. And, and welcome to Hermitcraft. We love it. We love to see Honestly, new people. Um, and we're so dollars. glad to have you. I just wanted to say thank you. I started having chronic pain three years ago, and you remind me that I can still have fun and be happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. I mean, a lot of these... A lot of medical conditions like that, they, they want to rob you of everything, but you, 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 you cannot, you cannot give into it. There's, there's workarounds, there's things you can do, there's, there's coping mechanisms, there's so many different things. You just never want to give up and you never want to feel like it's trying to defeat you. Um, and it doesn't sound like you're, that's, you're not letting that d defeat you at all. I love it. I love it. Um, what is Ahsoka? Ahsoka is the brand new... Uh, Disney Plus Star Wars show coming out. Very excited. Um, I love Ahsoka. Ahsoka is such a great character. Ketmate cheered X500. It's my birthday too. Happy birthday to us. Hey, happy birthday to us. Love it. Love it. Hope you have a wonderful birthday today. Um, but yeah, no, I didn't know who Ahsoka was until I think it was 2019. I, I kept hearing about it. I think some of you guys were mentioning it. Um, a lot of this will become... A lot of this area will actually become moss. You know when I, you know when I was about to say moss, I said B-dubs in my head, and I'm like, Happy B day! I was about to subscribe. Just associate moss down with him. Someone had just gifted one. I just moved out, and this is the first thing I'm spending my money on. And I know you want to move out as well, so I hope any bit of money will help. I love you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, and uh, good luck on your on your your future. Like I love I love it. You're out there on your own. I love it. That's really cool. Good luck. You're gonna you're gonna crush it. You're gonna have a great life. Um, but yeah, no, he is the boss man. <laughs> he is the boss man. I like to call him the boss man. He's kind of the bossy boss man. Um, okay, so so Ahsoka, right? Very excited. Um, I struggled to get into the Clone Wars. I tried like three times to get into it, but that first few episodes are kind of a slog. Um, but I stuck with it after 2019 when I went to Galaxy's Edge and like the cast members were talking about Ahsoka when I was getting my lightsaber and they're like, oh, Ahsoka's the greatest character of all time. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, I don't even know who this character is. And when I got home, I was like, all right, I'm dedicated to the Clone Wars. I want to watch it after, you know, first season of Mando was complete. And Oh, oh yeah, a hundred percent. I was like, I get it, I get it. This is a great character, very flushed out. Might be one of the better flushed out characters in all of Star Wars, because I think Dave Filoni just, you know, that's his character. Like he, he puts, he puts, he puts her wherever he can. Um, so you know, you get a really great and flushed out character. So Ahsoka's finally getting her own show. I'm very excited about it. Their royal um, butterfly cheered X five hundred. I know I've broken Happy my birthday, rules. Scar. Have a wonderful day. Currently re-watching Clone Wars. Ooh, Who's nice. your favorite clone? Who's my favorite clone? Oh, that's a good question. Who is my favorite clone? Ashinoi Yubi has cheered X1. Who's the old guy? I always What's forget. The old the old clone. After what you just like did him. to the perimeter, how can you still place more grass blocks? <laughs> that's a great question. <laughs> that is a that is that is the question for the age. How can I actually continue to place more grass blocks? <laughs> you have brought up a great point. You have, you have you have I like 99. Rex was cool too. I like, I like 99. He was cool. Rex is great too. Commander Cody for sure. Those are all good ones. Um, but yeah, no, so I know I broke my rules as I was not going to get excited for, for anything ever again after I've been disappointed too many times. But Ahsoka just broke through the gates. It's Dave Filoni, you know. I, I'm giving in on this one. I'm getting excited for this one. I'm getting excited for this one. Um, I think it's justifiably justified that I can be excited for this, but I am going into it knowing that it's going to probably have some of the clunky things that I really dislike about some of the other series, the void or the volume. It's going to the choreographic 
nature of it's probably going to be kind of not as good, but that's OK. That's OK. I, I'm going in it. I'm, I'm excited. I just want to see the, the Rebels crew and all of that. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. Apparently, there's a lot of lightsaber battles in the first two episodes. That's exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to see some lightsaber battles. We've got a lot of content lately that has nothing to do with anything to do with lightsabers. So I'm kind of wanting to see some lightsabers again. Do you feel me? Like, I mean, Kenobi had a little bit of lightsaber action, but it was just kind of... What do the kids say these days? What, what's, what, what do they say? What do they say? Mid or something? <laughs> See, I'm hip. I, I, I don't, I don't, I know that I know the catchphrase. You, you heard it here. Um, wait, no, I, I, I have heard these. This is going to be good. This will be good. You want me to, you want me to do new, newfangled language? I could do it. I would need B dubs here to do it properly. Actually, I'm not going to do it. I'll only do it if B dubs is here. I'll only do, um, I'll only do, uh, Zoomer language if B-dubs is here. You're a true inspiration, the best comfort streamer and YouTube ever, and I feel like you need to know how much you mean to and help your disabled fans. You being out here and being so positive helps remind us that our disabilities aren't the end of the world. Your positivity has inspired me to tea, so happy birthday, King. You deserve the most wonderful day ever. Oh, that was... That was very nice. That's very nice. I really appreciate that. Um, you know, like if, if I can help people, um, you know, staying positive this and that you also help me stay positive with that message and all the other messages you guys send very similar to that. Like, yeah, we, we all help each other. And, um, I very much appreciate that. Like I said, dude, we, it's very true that we all help each other. Um, so very much appreciate it. Um, but yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw in the chat, uh, B-dubs noted Zoomer, <laughs> you know, we, we, we like to keep up with the new language, uh, B-dubs and I, so maybe B-dubs will grace us with an appearance again on stream and we'll, we'll, we'll do, uh, we'll do that in the future. We'll, we'll do Zoomer talk. It's been a year since we did Zoomer talk, by the way, last year at this time we streamed B-dubs showed up right as my microphone fell off the wall and we had we just basically just did a Mario podcast <laughs> and decked out. Can I just take a moment to say that I love your voice? Hot. Happy birthday, King. Thank you for all the serotonin that you are giving us. Yes, I appreciate that. Star Wars talk. Star Wars. <laughs> you, you over here try to get me to spoil my season 10 base, I hear. I heard that. I heard that. Milk Sog for you. <laughs> That's right. Milk Sog came from that that stream. Uh, oh, coming over here and trying to get me to spoil my season 10 base. Yeah, I really do want to do um, a base that's like my own like sci-fi thing. Like, I, I think a sci-fi base would be really cool. It'd be a really big challenge. Minecraft's wildly easy if you just like organics, wood, medieval -y, this and that. But to try to make something sci-fi, it might come out terrible. It might come out terrible. <laughs> but I'm kind of booked for the challenge. Anyway. Anyway, Ahsoka. Very excited. Um, the Rebels crew. I think the Rebels crew looks good. I think they cast good good people for the roles. What do we think? Do we think a pretty good pretty good casting, right? I think it's a pretty good casting. Beard Stone Cheered X six hundred birthday something yeah. something Beard Stone Love. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Scurvis? <laughs> the announcements are so messed up. I can't actually look at the uh, the side panel because the messages there don't correspond with what's going on. What's going on the screen? Uh, yeah. Okay, Rascal, you approve of the Ahsoka cast too. Okay, good. I'm not the only one. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, are we getting Purple Guy, by the way? Does Purple Guy make an appearance? Because he made an appearance in um, Mando 3. Uh, but I do not see Purple Guy in, um, in the trailers, which I find interesting. What is his name? I do not remember. I, I swear, there his name does not stick in my head. And I've watched Rebels two times over, and I still don't remember his name. I, what is it? Zed? Okay, it's Zed. Wow. Why doesn't that? Why is that name not stick in my head? Anyway, purple guy's not there. What's his name? 
um, is lost in the beyond worlds. Um, and then Thrawn. I think Thrawn looks good. Ahsoka is always good. Um, hair looks good. Um, Mando, Mando lady. Sabine looks good. Sabine looks good. So I think casting looks looks good. Lightsabers, check. Is a wandering Very kid excited. 300. Happy birthday. Thrawn is the same voice actor, and I see that as a huge plus. I see that as a huge plus. Um, yeah, we're going to get spoiled with that for sure. I'm going to probably hold off messing with anything beyond this point for a little bit. Uh, because I do have terraform plans here, but I need to terraform this down to make this look better because it looks trash right now. Um, but yeah, what did I think of Kenobi? I did. I oh god, Skyrim. I wasn't a huge fan of Book of Boba Fett, but I've actually liked it more since it came out. Kenobi, I dislike more as a cup. The more I think about Kenobi, the more I absolutely dislike that show. The more it's it's a it's a it's a feat that somehow that show continues to annoy me and make me <laughs> angry. Whereas Book of Boba Fett, like I can kind of forgive some of it, not the mopeds. I'll never forgive the mopeds ever. But you know, Cabin was cool. Cabin was really cool. But no, I. I, I can't get over my dislike of Kenobi and I love Kenobi is the problem like Kenobi is one of my all-time favorites he's like in the top three right you got Ahsoka there you got Kenobi and then that other place kind of changes hands sometimes like another character might be cool for a while but those are kind of like the pillars of my top three and they just and they just it's hard to even put into words what they did to my poor beloved Kenobi the trench coat. I never forgive them for that trench coat scene. I never forgive them for that trench coat scene. I'll take Tashi power converters, quirky dialogue over over that trench coat any day. Any day. I I'll never I'll, that scene. That oh my god, the editing and the visual effects in the Inquisit Inquisitorious or whatever it's called was so bad. Oh, God. I'm triggered. Oh, what about the Leia chase scene? Oh, dude, I... You didn't need to remind me of that. You didn't even need to remind me of that. It was like, oh, no, a six-year-old. Guys, we can't catch her. Or Kenobi... Okay. I've said this before, but it's, it's worth repeating again. The scene where they go past the laser fence, right? There's a laser fence right there. That's where the lasers start. The lasers end here, okay? And there now there's a laser across, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate this. This is this is good demonstrations right now. This is good stuff, guys. It's good stuff. This is why this is why you show up to Scar Streams. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. This is this is what we call visual effects here in Minecraft. This is the laser. I, I know, right? High budget, high budget stream. Okay. <laughs> Our budget was higher than Kenobi here on, on Hermitcraft. <laughs> Okay, so you have a laser fence, right? Okay. Oh, no. Boom. Awkward core graphicry. Oh, wow. Okay, stormtroopers are dead, everybody. Oh, no. Princess Leia, or just Leia. No, you are Princess Leia. Princess Leia, how are we going to get through this laser fence to get on the other side? Oh, my gosh. This is so crazy. We could just walk around the fence because there was nothing blocking it. You could have just walked around it. No. We're gonna go woo 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 and we're gonna blast the control panel, knocking down the lasers that we could have just walked around, but now we can go through. Yay, we did it, everybody. Or, okay, I'm Kenobi and I'm on the ground, like, oh no, Lord Vader, you defeated me. I didn't have the high ground this time. Oh, you. Wait, that's not my Darth Vader voice. Where's my Darth Vader voice? Where's my Darth Vader voice? I have a Darth Vader voice on my soundboard. Here we go. Got it. Kenobi. Oh, that's definitely not it. Okay. I might have might have lost my Vader voice. Okay. Anyway, back back to my high budget production here. Okay. There's fire on the ground and canon and lore say that Vader can go into space in his suit and he can go through lava. Okay. Okay. Remember this. 
and he's over here, right? This is Kenobi on the other end of the fire. Oh no, I'm all burnt up. Oh no, you have defeated me, Lord Vader. I did not have the high ground. I shouldn't have left you in lava. And then he's over here. Vader like, oh no, I'm Vader. I can't possibly walk through this little tiny fire to get my arch enemy, the person that I hate so much. There's nobody in the galaxy that I hate more than this man on the other side of the fire. But shucks, we're just going to have to let him go. Yep. Mm hmm. The lady and the droid, they're who under who they are. We can't walk around the fire either, even though you could have. You could have just walked around the fire. Oh, no, we don't have spaceships that could come up or anything. We couldn't even shoot through the fire. It's just we're just going to let him go. Bye, arch enemy. Worldwide make me tipped five dollars. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but I love hearing your ants. I could listen to you talk about anything. I especially love hearing your Disney rants as an art student. Hope you have the best of birthdays today. Oh, well, thank you very much. And love to hear that you're an art student. I love to hear that. That's awesome. I, I just, oh man. If I was in Disney's shoes or Lucasfilm, nothing would have been more of a priority than Kenobi. Kenobi is the Super Bowl, the, the grand championships, the the like their number one priority was to nail that show because you, you've got Vader, Anakin, you've got Obi, you've got young Princess Leia, you got young Luke, you got all these characters. And it was like, who wrote this show? And the budget must have been like five bucks. That's like, dang. Quiet. So, yeah, it's a. Uh, Man, oh man. She wants in. She wants in. So yeah, that's my rant for her. That's my rant on that. But I am excited for Ahsoka. Ashoka I'm very excited. Visited. Very excited. $100. Ashoka is my favorite character. She defeated Maul and multiple Inquisitors. Yet in Mando, she could barely defeat a non-force user with a stick. They ruined her. <sighs> yeah, that's, I think so. That's that was my that was my assumption too on that for a while. I was like, dang, Ahsoka, you got all this power and you got double lightsabers and everything. Come on, take down this person with a stick. <laughs> but this is what it was explained to me, which kind of made sense. I can never. Just have five minutes of peace and quiet without you, Mount Abby Jelly. Come on, come on in, come on, let's go. Come on, here you go, in, in the room, in the room, let's go. Come on, come on, through the door, through the door, there you go, there you go. Okay, now don't meow at me, get on the bed. <laughs> Did you see her? Did you see her? <laughs> oh gosh, now she wants pets. Okay, you're being such a, such a ruffian. What are you, why are you meowing like this? Such a crazy cat. Did you see her jump, by the way? I want a clip of that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like she was flying. Around. Why are you making such crazy sounds? Can you hear her purr? Can you hear her purr? Aww. You guys haven't seen Jelly in a while on stream, am I right? She hasn't come on stream for a while. Come on, Jelly, camera's up there. Say hi to everybody. There you go. Oh, no, she is. No, 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 I don't want you to jump. I don't want you to jump off the, off the desk. No, 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 get back here. Don't stand on my pirate hat. Don't stand on my pirate hat. No, God, you are, you are a nuisance today. Do you want to see, you want to see the crystal ball real quick? Look, Jelly, look. Ooh, crystal ball. Ooh. Look, look, feather. You like feathers. <laughs> all right, all right, get on the bed. Come on, come on, get on the bed. There you go. Wow, that cat. 
that cat's a needy cat. I'll tell you that right now. I got air. She got air in my face and my nose. Okay. Well, at least you guys got to see Jelly for a minute. <laughs> Where were we? What were we talking about before Jelly disturbed us? What were we talking about? I got cat hair all over my face. <laughs> it's itchy. <sighs> So it's oh like uh, the lightsaber fight with Ahsoka in Mando season two, so that was one of my absolute favorite episodes. Um, Filoni did such a fantastic job directing that. I love the planet. They made the planet feel alien, and that are you kidding me? Why did you want in here in the first place? <sighs> You're a nuisance. But we still love you. Anyway, um, the planet, the way that they designed the planet was really cool. It just felt alien. And so often in live action, and I didn't get it with budget constraints and stuff, everything feels very earthy. Um, whereas that planet felt nothing like Earth. And it was this alien, sickly planet. And I loved it. It was really cool. Um, Ahsoka kind of in the, in the fog, like hunting her prey was really awesome. But yeah, I, I get the point where she's trying to defeat this person with a stick. And that person is actually a, um, a night sister. And, but she didn't really use any night sister powers. Um, and I think, so this is what I was explained to me actually. And I, I think it makes sense in the end because I was in the same boat where you were. I was like, how did she just not chop that person's head off? But she didn't want to kill that person. She was more playing with her food. Um, she was more playing with that person because she didn't want to kill that person because she needed that person to give her Grand Admiral Thrawn. And she was like, you know, taken into New New Republic, or whatever they're calling it today. Um, so that that's how it was explained to me um, that that person was she she wasn't trying to really kill that person or defeat that person. Really, she just wanted to capture that person and bring her in. Jelly's a menace, but we still love her. Yes, very true. Yeah, she is. Wait, did I spoil anything? She's OK. Technically, the actress spoiled it herself. She posted that on, on Instagram at one point and called herself a night sister and then deleted it. So. So so, yeah, she spoiled it. <laughs> she spoiled it. <laughs> she spoiled it. Uh, Mando three sucks so bad. Yeah, it it maybe it wasn't the best season for sure. It wasn't the best. It just feels like a. It just felt like a a, a really lack of direction in my opinion. The first two seasons had a very like specific purpose, and then. Hey, she spoiled it herself. She's she's she spoiled it on her Instagram. Uh, but yeah, no, Mando 3, it had its moments. I like the end. I like that one scene at the end with Baby Yoda and Mando. I, I like that. I want that as a Lego and I will love it forever. Okay, I'm just trying to get a platform built here and then we'll start terraforming downwards um, once we kind of get something established. Uh, but yeah, come on. That last scene, I want that as a, I want that as a Lego. Baby Yoda, Mando just chilling. I like that scene. Other The other stuff, I don't know. I hate being negative because I nothing made me happier than Mando season one and two and then three and then Kenobi and Boba Fett were just like, man, what happened? Like, it feels like there was like a lack of direction or studio meddling. I don't, I don't know what it was. Just something. It's there was a smell in the air. You know, when, when there's something creative being built and then there's people on the outside perifer periphery of it and they're, they're just like poking at it and nudging and, and giving notes and you can just smell it. You can smell meddling. You can smell it a mile away. And Mando 3 it really gave off the, the vibe of meddling. <laughs> meddling. <laughs> um, but yeah, Hopefully, I, I, I'm I'm I am looking forward to Ahsoka. I don't think I don't think that's going to be the case. I think Filoni kind of has a, a, a vision for this, and I think you'll see that vision out well. I think Mando should have ended with season two. I agree. I do agree now. I, I, 
I think I think you're right. Who knows what happened behind the scenes, but I mean, there's a lot of rumors and this and that, and who knows, right? Rumors are rumors and rumors are rumors, but something happened behind the scenes that changed the trajectory of what their plans were. Um, and you know, there's a lot of turmoil in Disney right now, a lot of changing hands, a lot of uh, executive turnover. So like one executive might want something and another want, want something else. And that's kind of the sad fact of what Hollywood is, is just executives dictating to the creatives what to do and the creatives have less and less power. And that's a that's a shame. We were actually talking about this yesterday when we were when we were grinding out Doc's perimeter. As you can see, Doc doesn't have a base anymore. Um, but how fortunate we are um, as like creators that we can kind of create our fun little videos and stories and not have somebody dictating what to do, because that's that could be exhausting and really like uncreatively fulfilling. And so we, we are like very like. We were very fortunate. Um, we were talking about like, you know, we, we can we can create stuff. We can have these really weird streams where I like talk to my cat and rant about Obi-Wan Kenobi going over laser fences. Like if you brought that up in like a boardroom, <laughs> if you brought that up in the boardroom, you're like, OK, so here's my plan for my stream. OK, um, I'm going to give really bad tips for MCC. And then I'm going to talk to my cat and we're going to complain about Obi Obi-Wan Kenobi and we're going to get really deep in the lore on Darth Vader's suit he wears. And then my cat is going to get cat hair in my nose. And then I'm going to place a lot of grass blocks. <laughs> so that, that, yeah, that, that would go. So that's why that's why we're very fortunate and we can just do what we want and be ourselves and have a have an enjoyable time because sometimes right you, you look at the like star wars and you're like man it'd be so fun to work on something like that and then you remember nah nah i, I got the best of both worlds over here I, I can make i can make my own theme park because that might even be a bigger topic right why did i build this right why did why did i build why did i build scarlet like why why did i why did i construct this i constructed it for two maybe three reasons one the idea was conceptualized long ago, but it was solidified during the pandemic when I couldn't go to Disneyland. Then Disneyland got too expensive and too crazy. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to build my own park. It's too weird, too, too expensive. Everything's on your phone. There's like a genie running around trying to siphon off, trying to pickpocket you now. And I was like, no, I'm just going to make my own park. And also, I wanted to be an Imagineer. I wanted to create these parks so I can create my own park and share it with my delightful audience and we'll have a ton of fun. And I'm not gonna have like people dictating like, you know, we could really use some IP infusion in this area. We're really feeling like according to current statistics and analytical data showing the focus groups in this metric demographic group shows that we need to incorporate heavy amounts of stitch. No, no, I say no to all that. No. No. No, I make my own. I make my own. <laughs> Sorry, I had I had to throw shade at Stitch. You know how you know the rules around here. Um, but no, I make my own. I make my own stuff. But now I. I do want to go back to Disneyland at some point, but Lance like I said, it just got really expensive. And that genie's just trying to pick everyone's pocket these days. It's crazy. You such a huge inspiration to me and many others, and I adore your passions and dedication for what you do, and you taught me so many new things. Wish I could say more, but Terry's too much. Happy birthday. Less Thank you so free. much. Very much. Very much appreciate. Have I Googled Solidarity Gaming lately? Jimmy? Jimmy Timmy? What's wrong with Jimmy? What's wrong with Jimmy? What's wrong with Jimmy? Jimmy's good. He's good. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I want to get you a stitch as a, as a Yoda plush. Oh, ah, that creature. Please Google him. Why? 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 Am I, why? Why am I doing this? What? What? Well, what is the reason? Hold on. 
Um, just your standard, just your standard delightful Jimmy as always. Hair on point. Um, no, yeah, no. Yeah. I don't know what I'm looking for. Taiki fourteen next year X five hundred. What am I missing? Birthday scar. Hope you have an incredible day, King. GTWS Jelly. I'm confused. Um, let's see. Do you need? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do you need a PC to create quality content? Well, I mean, you need a PC to. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. I mean, you can create stuff on your phone. You can create stuff on a on an iPad like device. You you can. I mean, you can create you can create whatever you want these days on whatever you want. Um, do I think having a PC might make it a little bit easier? Yeah, probably. Maybe that's because I'm a little boomerish and I don't generally like to make. Um, he's getting swole. Saw there he's getting swole. Does he? Does he? Does he know I am the one with the abs around here? <laughs> uh, but anyway, as I said, um, yeah. I mean, having a PC would make things easier, but. If you are a, I mean, if if you just want to make content on your phone, you can. I mean, a, a like a camera on on a somewhat modern phone is the equivalent of like at times a decent di digital SLR. Obviously, like a phone can fall apart when when pushed to more extremes. Granted, but you know you have good you you give an iPhone good lighting, it looks really good if you're trying to film something like. It's wild how good they are compared to like, gosh, the D90, like Nikon's first digital SLR camera that shot video. That thing was terrible. <laughs> I mean, an iPhone will outdo that any day. There's now a tweet. What, what is going on here? Hold on. Hold on. We're bringing up, we're bringing up the, the former social media platform known as Twitter. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. No, no. I mean, I followed Jimmy. I don't see anything on here. Nothing recent. I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Oh, it was Doc. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Why am I not seeing Doc? Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why, why is he not showing up here? Wait, why is he not? Oh, here he is, 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 here he is. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, let's go, the whole server versus the goat, huh? Is this the game we play? Okay, rules are no longer applied to me. You've removed my... <laughs> All right, we're done. Yeah, ah, fine, Doc. Doc, the problem is, Doc, we're, we're done. Like, we had our fun. We had our fun, and now, and now we're good. Now we're good. We're all good. We're all good. We're back to, we're back to our bases. I've got, I've got this jelly flower floor I gotta make. It's a whole thing. It's good times. Anyway. Anyways, the Roosies. We gotta go get some stone. Oh, Doc's in the chat. Are we gonna have to start hiding again, by the way? Tip squeak cheered X500. Hey, Scar. Happy birthday. You have such a beautiful light and incredible spirit. Keep shining bright. You bring so much joy, so many. I appreciate that very much. Thank you very much. Um, last thing I'll say about gear and content creation is, for the love of God, please do not get obsessed with gear. It is something that I learned early in photography is you just need to do and not worry about what you have. You need to learn, 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 and learning on actually like cruddy equipment is, will make you better into the future. So not getting obsessed over over like, if you're a content creator, like, do you need the fanciest lights? Do you need the fanciest cameras? Do you need the fanciest computers? Absolutely, and no, 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 you do not. What you need is to learn, and that is the priority over any gear. Gear is just, I mean, there's some gear that can make life a little easier. There's some pieces that might give you the ability to do something that you weren't able to do before. But obsessing over what they are, the quality, the price, the brand, this and that is, is, is a fool's errand. Is a fool's errand and that goes for any hobby or anything you're involved in. Just have fun and not get caught up in any like overly consumer consumerism type things that try to lure people and hobbies into things they do not need. Um, 
if you're if you're a content creator say you're a minecraft content creator and, and you just for instance you're doing it on java so you tech, so maybe you have a pc obs is free there's free uh, editing programs you'll never get anywhere if you are just focusing on the gear behind the content creation that is always and always will be a fool's errand you need to make content and not worry about those little things think about some of like the biggest content creators like like some like they don't have a lot of fancy gear like if you if you think about it flashiness isn't always a great option in content creating people people just enjoy the authenticity of people and not overly obsessed about if they have fancy graphics it is crazy that obs is free and it's a beautiful thing uh, and it's a sad thing in some ways because I might be wrong. So tech, tech, tech people out there, nerds assemble, love you. Do you feel the same way that I feel like a uh, shareware or freeware? Or, you know, the, I might be mixing up the terminology, but the the like OBS and, and programs like that. Some of like, in my opinion, were like fundamental bedrocks of like the internet. There's a lot of like, hey, you know, I'm gonna make this cool piece of software for the betterment of other people and freeware. And that seems to be drying up more and more and more. Like that side of the internet just seems to be just a dying thing. And it makes you super, super sad to see, in my opinion. I, I might be completely off, but I can see it in say the app store, right? Like when the app store first came out, there was lots of like really cool, just fun, free apps. Now everything is a subscription service. Everything is a subscription service. Everything wants to get you on the plan. Everything wants you on the plan. <laughs> they want to get you on the plan. <laughs> get you on the get, get you on the $4.99 plan. And it's like, man, maybe we don't need that. Yeah, it's just it's frustrating. Um, it just seems like there's so few things like OBS these days, and it's like, dang. That was a cool part of the internet that seems to be slowly going away. Love from Belchard X500. That's why you should support My those people doing that with like a tip or a donation to those sites who do inspired me to start have that ability. My lifelong dreams back on track and to re-aim for going into pediatric orthopedics despite my disability and mental health struggles. Without you being there and positive despite your disability, I wouldn't have been able to rethink my depression surrounding mine. Anyway, enjoy your birthday, you legend. That is... That is really awesome. I, I, I absolutely love to hear that you are getting back into a career and a dream that you that you want to do it and, you know, make your life better, make other people's lives better. That that's that's fantastic. I, I wish you all, all, all the, the love and support and you're going to crush it. You're going to crush it. I don't know if crushing is a great word with orthopedics. Like you're going to like healing bone them no okay that doesn't make any sense i'm gonna stop while i'm ahead um <laughs> but you get what i'm trying to say i'm trying <laughs> i just <laughs> break a leg no we're not breaking a leg no <laughs> cast them <laughs> uh but no i i am i am i'm very very excited for you and cannot wait for wonderful and ha happy things for you. And you know, like that's, that's really great. That's really great. And don't let those things stop you. I, I learned this a long time ago. I learned this a long time ago um, from my insane coach when I was a swimmer. And when I mean insane, nobody can quite grasp the insaneness of this coach, but he taught us a lot of good things. He taught us a lot of good things. And one of them was that life is 90 percent of how you react to situations and that can and the older i get in my old how, how old does the internet say i am now 50 now or what was it again <laughs> what does the internet say that i am how old again um as older i get in my my oh yeah 40 41 that's right <laughs> um so as, as i get older um I do realize how much that is the case and how much I have to remind myself of that constantly that 
Like life is 90% of how you react to it. Because you can react really, really, really well to a terrible situation and make the situation much better than reacting very poorly to it and exasperating that issue. And I always try to remember that. It's, it's a, <laughs> there's a lot of variation out there. Three. Um, and I, I have to, I have to remind myself of that constantly, especially in the last few years. The last few years have been brutally brutal in so many ways that it's hard to even describe. And I always have to remind myself that it's like, just stop and be like, and it does help. It really does help. Mumbo used to be nine on the old Alexa. So if you asked Alexa, so if you're like, hey, Alexa, how old is Mumbo Jumbo? It would say, hello, Mumbo Jumbo is nine years old. I'm really trying to figure out how to bring down this. Oh, hello there. Really trying to bring this down in the right ways. By the way, what games do we have coming up? What, what video games do we have that, that are cool? We have Starfield, right? That seems like a really fun game uh, from Bethesda. So we know it'll be buggy, but fun. And then we have City Skylines, right? That's going to be a fun game. We're 100% playing that on stream. 100%. Um, uh, Bladdergate? Blood, blue, Bluder? Bluedergate 3? I, I don't know what that is. Um, CS2. Is that CSGO 2? Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. So City Skylines, Bladders Gate, Dave the Driver. What is Dave the Driver? What is Dave the Driver? By the way, I saw somebody post that, that, that F, FN fr Fridays, Fridays with Freddy or whatever. Is that a co-op or multiplayer or is it just single player? Because I wanted to play that with uh, with Amesy, and then somebody told me that it was it was only a single player, and I'm like, no! They told me about this game, they got me excited, and it's a single player. I don't want to play that by myself. I can't play Phasmophobia with by myself. I've tried three times, and I screamed, and it was awkward because it was like in the middle of the day. I can't play that game by myself. Like I have tried. I wanted to get some points and some money and learn the game and I can't, I have to be with my friends. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Bladders Kate, the barbecue game. City Skylines looks really cool. I'm very excited. I've wanted a new one of that, that game for a long time. I'm so excited there's a new game coming out. I thought they would just endlessly just release expansion packs, but no, 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 new game. What else do we got? What else do we got? Yeah, what I what I'm looking forward to, like I said, is Starfield and uh, City Skylines. Um, if there is any games that you guys can think of, that would be really fun to play on stream, which is a very specific game, right? We need to have it be able to be multiplayer. It's got to be something fun that we can just be silly and chill out with. Um, if you have any of those ideas, um, Always let us know because we're always searching for something fun to play on stream together uh, because it needs to be a, like a pretty good formula to make it all work. Um, so yeah, GTA six in a hundred years, dude, that can't, I can't be more disappointed sometimes in the game industry. Like you remember when we used to get GTA games like every two, every like three years or something, three, four, maybe wasn't it at around that? Dancing it was like three, four, 300 happy birthday scar. I or uh, Skyrim. Hermitcraft and sub to you on YouTube because your outro made me laugh. <laughs> then I had to have a C-section, and now I really am <laughs> scarred for life. You are scarred for life. Well, thank you so much for the bits. Very much appreciated, and uh, congratulations on the on the, the baby. Hopefully everything's going well. Um, sea of Thieves. That's a good choice. That's a great choice. That was fun. I, I played that with Beatubs in uh, Korean once. We didn't do it on camera. We just did it for funsies. You know, I really do want to make a merchandise um, run sometime of like sweatshirts with embroidered, embroidered, embroidered. You know, like the, the sewing embroidered. 
um, just says like scarred for life and kind of like cool scratchy letters like across like the, the chest this way. I think it'd be sweet. I think I think it'd be really cool. Would you want that or is it just me? Or is it just me? Just me. I think it'd be really cool. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to break this down. <laughs> like it's complicated. Like doing this is complicated because you have to get the right feeling of how the landscape is going to flow and you don't want it to look you know, awkward or whatever. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that for Christmas. We'll see. It, it's been an, it's been an idea I've had for a long time. All right, look, look at the progress, guys. Look at the progress. You've never seen so much progress all in one shot. Look at this. I got the flow. I got the I got the power. Hold on. Okay, he's going the wrong. I'm going the other. What is happening? What? what? <laughs> Why can't I ever get progress done? I was making progress, guys. Now I'm like super zoom. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I'm going to turn the camera and it's going to make everyone dizzy. Close your eyes. What is going on? Why am I super zoomed, guys? How I can super, super zoom. Oh, look at that hot guy up there. Um, <laughs> F1. OK. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what do I do, guys? Hold on. I'm going to relog. I'm going to relog. Cop! Cop! What has happened to me? I was making so much progress. Wow, I was actually on 86. Oh, F-bomb would be so proud of me. H-bomb, not F-bomb. Oh, God. <sighs> he always credit not he, not that he criticizes he always comments how low my fov is when he looks at my santa time replays and it's really funny guys i don't know what to do i'm on quake pro i'm on quake pro <sighs> guys what do i do <laughs> I can't. Help. Pay cheered X300. Control scroll. Okay. No, that didn't do anything either. Stop spamming buttons. I don't know what I pushed. How about I? How, okay, guys. I'm, okay, here we go. I'm going to push buttons. I'm starting with Z. Z, X. I think we fixed it. I don't know how. What key was that? What is going on? Hello there. <laughs> what is this? It must be a mod. Sometimes I copy over the mods. Like sometimes Azuma is very nice and he just like says, hey, every I wish I could do Azuma's voice. Hello, everybody. I have a mod set for you. And he, he gives us mods and it's like really, really nice of him. And, and you know, for, for us non very techie people, it's very nice sometimes when he, he compiles for an update mods. But sometimes there's random mods in the mix. And this happens where you're like, what the heck is this mod? <laughs> so I think it might be a mod that I have no idea what it is. That was an uncanny Azuma voice. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, no, Azuma always puts together like mods and it's always like super duper helpful. Same with MCC. They actually have this auto thing. It saves so much freaking time. Um... Because I don't know if you guys know, but like to, to make Minecraft run well these days, you know what? I'm kind of now understanding what F bomb is talking about. I kind of like a higher FOV now. He might be onto something over there. Anyway, um, 
it is convenient sometimes to get the mods like that because it's hard to keep track of them all because we need so many mods these days and when there is an update and Azuma puts the mods in the chat, like the list gets longer and longer. And every time you see it, you're just like, wow, we need a lot to keep this game running. <laughs> we need a lot. Death Bomb is his new name. No, no, no. You know, we had so much fun, by the way, when we were doing this, the dock space. It was some of the most fun that I've had on Hermitcraft in a very long time. And all we were doing was placing dirt and just talking, having fun together. We haven't done enough of that as a group. Ashoka was making snarly, angry faces when attacking. Ashoka never showed anger when attacking. Again, they ruined her. Star Wars talk is my birthday gift to you. Star Wars birthday. So, Ahsoka, like, like a... I, I get kind of, so one thing I noticed about Ahsoka's demeanor in live action is that um, she's way more, um, she's way more stoic. I'm not sure what the right word is. There is there is a little difference in the way she's portrayed on live action versus animation. Animation, there was, Ahsoka always had like a wink in her eye, almost like, almost like in a weird way, like the same with like Dumbledore. Like they always had this like, like this little like wink in their eye that the that I didn't really notice in the in the one, but you don't know. I I, I still I I think they do the best they can. Um, it's hard to translate from animation. Um, that that is that is a tough. That's actually a really tough feat. And I think they do have the best possible person to do it. The guy who Lancaster created Judith the character is also the guy running the live action. Star. So I think Today I think they they do it okay. Linus 13th birthday. Could he get a happy birthday from you, please? Wait, 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 who is, um, let's say Scar today, my son, Linus is 13th birthday. Let's go, 13, the big 13, let's go. Linus, I hope you have a very happy, happy birthday. And, uh, you know, uh, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, uh, mom or dad there, uh, for, um, for sending the message. Um, so yeah, hope you have a very, very happy and wonderful birthday. The big old 13. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see here. Hmm. I have another rant coming on. <laughs> have you guys seen lately? It's my birthday. I can do all my my annoying topics that nobody likes. Just wait. We're get we're getting to Starship soon. Buckle up, buckaroos. Um. Have you guys seen? Okay, do you remember when uh, when when Iger returned to Disney and I said there there is now like a two percent chance that um, that Apple buys Disney? I think it's now I think it's now an eight percent chance. <laughs> it's still incredibly super de duper wildly low. Now, if Steve Jobs wouldn't have passed away, I think. Disney would already be bought by Apple, hence Bob Iger's book. So, um, why I say that? Why I say that is that Disney's in a lot of trouble. Apple wants the studios; they do not want the parks. I don't like this outcome, but it is the best outcome for the parks. Reason: the parks are being so mismanaged in these recent years and they're they're now the scapegoat for the studio's lack of uh, profitability and so the parks being very profitable are holding the studios up so if the studio if the studios and the parks were decoupled and they spun so if apple bought disney and spun off the parks this is just a thought this is just a thought process we're just we're just we're just throwing out ideas they spin they spin off the parks right spin them off Whew spin them off into their own company. And it's structured very similar to the way that the OLC, the Oriental Land Company in Japan operates the Disney parks there because the Disney parks are not owned by the Disney company in Japan. They're owned by the OLC. That company pays a licensing fee to the Disney company and has a lot of other like, you know, contract 
lingo and this and that involved, but they run the parks better than the domestic parks are run here in the United States by the actual Disney company. And if the parks were spun off, that profits, maybe more of those profits would actually be retained into the, the park division. We might actually get some decent pay for cast members. We might get some decent attractions built in the next 20 years, which there is no current attractions being constructed. And that means we are probably six years if they started next year on a new attraction from getting something new, most likely. Um, we might see a higher quality standard in the park because they could maybe retain more of the profits of their own. I don't like that option. I think that's a terrible option, but it might be the best option in this current landscape that uh, that we currently reside in for Disney. So that's my Disney rant for the day. Goodbye. <laughs> Comments on Disney's housing development. Housing development. Oh, the Bobby Chapek uh, um, house development in... Uh, Outside of Palm Springs, dude, I have no idea what they were thinking with that. that geez, come on, guys, <laughs> come on, guys. What, what are you doing? Get out of here with that. I was, just, I, I, I look at that. I'm just like, oh god, <laughs> oh, help us. Uh, let's see, Scar. What are your thoughts on Doc's threat he just made in your chat? Did he make it? Did he make a threat? I couldn't hear him. I muted him. I can't hear his announcements either. I'm scrolling. I don't see him. I have been to Tokyo, Japan. Way better than Disneyland. I opened a park map and with 10 seconds, a cast member asked if I needed help. Dude, Tokyo. I My dream is to go to Tokyo, Disneyland. Oh. See, the thing is, like with the OLC, like if you if you take a domestic park or a domestic ride, say, you know, in Disney World or Disneyland and that attraction's cloned over in Tokyo, that attraction in Tokyo is going to be 100 times better. It's going to have more animatronics. It's going to have more details. It's going to have all sorts of like much, much better things. And just like go on, go on YouTube and like just look up some of the stuff. Look up the Beauty and the Beast ride. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The Beauty and the Beast ride. It's insane. Uh, I, I love the OLC like sometimes that back in the day when Disney fan sites or wasn't just, you know, all just trying to get on Disney's media list so they could get free eight dollar cupcakes. But like when they used to like drop a lot of like rumors and, you know, actually like hold Disney accountable for their nonsense. Um, I remember when the OLC came over to Disneyland. I think it was a guy way back in the day on on a. A site called Mice Age. It's a really long time ago. There's a there's a guy who used to drop like major major um, news on Disney all the time. I think he was like Al something. I used to watch this guy when I was a kid, or, or read his stories when I was a kid, and I remember them talking about all the times the OLC comes over and, and looks at attractions, and they were like, good, good, no, bad, ugly, terrible, and they, they would they would basically come over like Disney would wine them and dine them, and they'd be like what attractions would you want to buy for your park because they're under obligation to use disney for all their design services why am i i really feel like i might start going up to a higher fov these days i actually really like this hbone was right when he saw like my sands of time clips he was just like what is he even using <laughs> i kind of like this i like that a little bit of distance here this is nice it's nice. I remember uh, certain rides that they said absolutely no Regular on. Such X500, wishing you a very happy birthday. Good old F. <laughs> oh man. Thank you for that. Very much appreciated. Um. But yeah, um, I, I would love the parks to be run like Tokyo Disneyland. Dude, Tokyo Disneyland has these um, like soap dispensers. And they come out the shape of Mickey's head. There is just those little tiny details that most people wouldn't even care about. But those are the details that you subconsciously know and you feel. And when they're they're gone, you notice. They're important little, like, just little details like that.
there's just lots of like such cool details in Tokyo. Like if you get a chance today, go go on YouTube and just look up some of like the like Tokyo Disney seas and like the attractions like they're soaring over California or soaring over the world. It is now is so cool. It, it's themed to the Adventures Club. It's a whole thing. No, you need to get into that now. But it's like like, I don't know, like 1920s flight. Oh. It, it, it what 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 Tokyo Disney always reminds me is the Imagineering is capable of doing like incredible things when given the ability by a fund like a funded well thought out project instead of like just like an executive being like infuse IP people like IP and eight dollar cupcakes let's go 500 I just tuned in and saw Doc's message pinned his threat makes him sound like the highway planner in SimCity 2000. <laughs> The highway planner. What is his message? Wait, hold on. Where is that? Wait. Oh, oh, the mods pinned it at the top. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so sorry, mods. I, I'm staring at the screen like, man, I just cannot for the life of me find Doc's message. All right, here's Doc's voice. How dare you? I just saw your video. You will regret this. I am Batman. That's funny. That's good. That is good. I love it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Too bad. The, too bad he didn't realize that we won and uh, we're done and the Buttercups were disbanded by Grant. Mumbo and I were a little disappointed about that. You know, we wanted to keep the band together, at least hang out together. Green's like, nope, moving on. Moving on. I'm so good at impersonations, guys. Tell me more people to impersonate and I will blow your mind. It's crazy. It's wild. It's freaking crazy. Uh. Let's do Tango. Guys, I've been in this cave for 84 years. Does the sun still shine from the south? East. From the east. No west. Dyslexic. <laughs> Can you bring me a spot of redstone? I've used my last dust. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Tango. He lives in a cave. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He's fresh out of jail. Uh, I, I, but Tango, what do you think? What do you think? From from watching Tango streams, where where is he at on decked out? Like, w what do we feel like? What do we feel like? Is it getting close? Is it getting close? I stopped bothering him because I've been bothering him. I was bothering him a lot. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna leave him alone for a while. I'm gonna stop bothering him. 90, 95 percent, 87 percent, 88 percent, very close. 90 percent, so close. 90 percent. Testing this week. Ooh, testing, nice. I know he is getting close. I just haven't had a chance to watch his uh, stream for a little bit. He is legit getting close. Oh, that's sweet. That's really, really cool. Yeah, Impulse yesterday when we were grinding out, um, he was, we were talking about Decked Out and he's like, you guys have no idea. They have Tokyo Disney Sea next door. You would love it. Impersonate Pearl. But first today, Pearl. Oh no! Hello, Governor. I am the cleaning lady. Yep, yep, yep. Clean, sweep, sweep, sweep. Five hundred Kscar. I just wanted to say happy birthday and thank you for being you. You've inspired me as a disabled person, and recently I've gotten strong enough to go back to work fully, and I'm super excited. Happy Dude, birthday awesome. again, Scar. Dude, Less that's awesome. Three. That's what you want to do, and you're able to do it. Let's go. Let's go. That's that's fantastic. I'm so glad you're excited and getting back and doing some stuff. You know, life, life's always going to have those challenges, but it sounds like you have a really good outlook. Happy birthday. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it's... um. Disney buying Apple would be awful. I, I totally get all those things. I just want to see the parks free. <laughs> I get it. Like I said, like I, I don't like this option, but if it had to happen... 
I'm just looking at like what would happen if it did and maybe a silver lining in that with the parks would be free. But no, I totally get all those arguments. I don't want to see this happen. Um, that was very Australian. Thank you. Do a B-dubs impression. <laughs> no, I can't do impressions. Uh, Doc did another tweet. Doc did another tweet. All right. All right. All right, let's see here. Um, okay, I'm just, I'm just thinking, uh, thinking aloud in my brain right now, which that actually didn't make any sense. I'm thinking aloud in my brain. Is that a wild cub? I think I saw a cub. Cubster! Well, hello there. Well, hello there. Hey, Mr. Scar. Hey, Mr. Scar. Dude, I just told my chat. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm just thinking aloud in my brain right now. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. By the um, way, man, sweet hat. Sweet hat you got on there. Look at that, guys. I defeated the Pharaoh. I have the crown, finally, after all this time. Look at it. It was impressive. It was impressive. It man. was. And you can see this beautiful footage on Cubs' second channel. Uploaded now. Yep. That's correct. That's correct. It was unfortunate that the Pharaoh didn't draw any cards, but you know, it was. It you was. gotta, you gotta it get was. your wins when you can. Yeah, you take that win. Take that win. I, take, I took that win. Yes, I did. It was a fair, fair fight. Have you noticed that there's a base top? not on Hermitcraft anymore? I did. I did. Yeah. It's now gone. it's just a beautiful forest. It is a beautiful forest, isn't it? Isn't it? You a fan it's of the giant. flowers? I told the guys we gotta get rid of the flowers. They vetoed me. Hang on, let me. One sec. One sec. Uh, it looks good. I like the flowers. That That's a lot of was flowers. wildly impressive, Cub. You knew that was coming <laughs> too. That was some reflexes, chat. Oh my gosh! Just whenever, whenever, whenever Scar does the slow turn, you know a spleef you know. is coming. That's when you know. That's when you know. Oh, that that was that was awesome. You did you dodged that so well. <laughs> that was. What are you up to, man? What are you up to? Happy birthday, by the way. Well, Happy thank birthday. you very much. I appreciate that. The birthday boy. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw Doc's message in Discord. Oh my god! I can't even. I can't even repeat it. It has naughty words. <laughs> oh really? Really? Um, oh my god, that's that. really funny message. Anyway. Um, I am, because it's my birthday, Cub. <laughs> I see, birthday, yeah. Scar. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah because it's your, your birthday, a yeah. Few years ago and being inspired by your One second. And character. It helped me not feel controlled by my asthma, and now I'm healthier than ever. Thanks for being you, and thanks for filling us with joy. And you bet, thank you so much for that message. I am so, so glad um, you're, you're feeling good and healthier. Very, very excited. Very, that's awesome. Um, so because it's my birthday, I am annoying the chat with mm -hmm. all my finest topics, Disney space. We haven't even got to aviation watches yet. Um, but we're, we're working down oh. the list. Star Wars. We lost him, ladies and gentlemen. He is, we lost him. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. He back. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're, we're just doing that. We're, we're cleaning up this, obviously, because the building was bigger than the cliff. So I'm just slowly like <laughs> filling in this area. So and now I have to build a cliff down here. Another one. So it's like cliff on cliff. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> so there's there's little ancient like relics of Scarland, right? So there's going to be a cliff in a cliff here. And there's relics, also hmm. um, Tango's arena is buried under here. So when people get the world <laughs> download next month, they're going to I mean, in the future, um, they'll be able to find relics all over uh, Hermitcraft. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of relics, I mean, I had a few to the museum the other day, a couple from, from Scarland. I saw the I saw the trolley. And you know what? I can't take it back because that's against the code of conduct of a museum. You, you pulled the museum yeah. code of conduct. That's true. That's true. I mean, I could I could reimburse you here. Here, I'm looking at you. Want, because it's your birthday, Scar, I gotta reimburse you for that. Alright? <laughs> oh my god, what are we getting, guys? Alright, alright, all right, check this out. You get you get this and this. Check this out. Check this out. You got some diamond and 
some diamond ore. Look, look at all this money over here. What is this? This will help pay for my yeah. employees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've recently come into a tremendous amount of wealth at the museum. Where did you get got it a, from? Got a big benefactor called uh, Mr. Pickaxe. Mr. Pickaxe really helped us out. Mr. Pickaxe, you said. Okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm, from, I'm excited about this. These, these diamonds were... I feel like there's way more to these diamonds than meets the eye. No, they're just diamonds. They're just compensation, man. Okay, I like compensation. That way you can rebuild a new trolley in place of the old one. Oh, thank <laughs> Maybe. you. Thank you. Maybe. Well, I, I, yeah. By the way, did you did you take the, the green portal to the museum? The green portal? The one that was over here. No. Oh. 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 That would have been a good idea. I wish I would have thought of that, though. Yeah. It's gone. What? Yeah, it's gone. I was going to move you it. Took, you took it No, down. I didn't. No. You... See, I'm just going to make like a little path here. And then, oh, I'm gonna, I don't want to spoil what I'm going to build here because it's 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 delightful. But I was going to put it like right here, which I think I might just rebuild it just in line with the with the park. So like it's in line because everything in Scarline is perfectly yeah. lined up. From the flat, from this entrance to the flagpole, to the track, to the statue, to the center of the castle, like everything is perfectly aligned. Um, yeah. yeah. So well, you gotta, to, you gotta be able to do the swoop to loop through the whole thing. Right? You can do the swoop to loop. Yes, that is that is true. The only thing is, you do have to kind of dodge the flagpole. So you, you have to kind of go over the flagpole and then through the trolley in Main Street, and then through the other trolley and then into the castle, and you can you can make the whole loop. Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. That's really cool. That's really cool. You putting yeah. flowers around here, Scar, by the way. Do I what? Flowers? No, no flowers around here. Well, only good <laughs> flowers, that is. Gotcha. Gotcha. There's bad flowers in Minecraft Cuff. You gotta watch out for them. You mean you don't want to put a whole bunch of wither roses here? What's up with that? Do you have wither roses? No, I don't. Oh, dang it. I was like, well, let's talk here. Hold on a second. You have some wither roses? That would be awesome if you had some. Dude, in I'm prior sure seasons, I felt like everyone had wither rose farms. And this season, I feel like we got nothing. Yeah, this season, people have been slacking. Let's be yeah, they've been themselves. slacking this entire season yeah. on wither rose farms. I can't believe it, man. I can't Is believe there it. even a wither rose farm on the server? Ooh, you have to ask Chad on that one. Uh, let's see. It looks like I don't Impulse know does have one. Does Impulse sell them? Because I have never seen them in the shopping district. To I buy. To Let's I see. buy. I actually want to see. I'm I kind of do too. To I buy we go. Can we stop by in Hawkeye Joe real quick? <laughs> After we I sure. buy. After we I sure. buy we Hawkeye Joe. Okay. Uh, Formation yeah. flying. The best kind of flying. Yep. If we, if we just hot guide him right now. Or we hot guy one of the. No, just kidding. <laughs> um. Joe helped a ton. Joe and, and others, like, we wouldn't have been able to do it without him. All right, I always Let's get see. confused Let's here, see. by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm actually not <laughs> that familiar with what we got. Uh, let's see, this I think is, okay, this is, I got a lot of terracotta. Okay, I got a lot of terra, hmm. Let's hmm. see, what do we got over here? We got... Okay, that's shulkers, shulkers. Shulkers. Hmm. A lot of space, emergency exit. Ooh. Interior exit? What is this? Oh, there's a hidden staircase. Oh, it's like the fire exit. I guess so, yeah. Oh, dude, it is. It brings it up here. Okay, I've been on this floor to get bamboo. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I've got a lot of bamboo on this floor. Rockets, books, Oh, emeralds. these are where the books are. Are you kidding me? I've been looking for these books forever. I thought he didn't sell books anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all up here. So it made my life Four. so much easier. Oh my gosh. Oh, Impulse, we gotta put some more directional signs around here for people. <laughs> or just for you're me. Learning, you're learning so much stuff today, Scar. I, I'm so, so smart now. Man, oh man. Let's take the elevator up to the fourth floor. Yeah. 
Let's see if this works. In this one? Okay. Whoa! Whoa! All right, you first. You first. Uh, this feels like like an Indiana Jones situation. <laughs> Up he goes. Chip Willis cheered X500. Happy birthday, Scar. I Thank think? you for a great year of content. I've oh, this is a so sumo shop. Let's see if Minecraft sumo sells. World oh, has sumo never looked better. Stuff. Incorporating new fun palettes and elements Ingots, of movement bricks, in my build. Everything. Let's go, Chip. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'd love to see it. If if you want to throw um like a photo of some of the stuff you build on um on Twitter, the platform formerly known as Twitter, or on Discord, or anywhere, like I'd love to take a look at that. What you made? Um, did you find the wither roses? No wither roses. No wither roses. Tough what a rip off. <laughs> yep. Nothing. Whole yeah, lot of nothing. What a disappointment. He's got a no. It is a pretty cool shop. I wish I knew how to use it better. Did Azuma build the uh, the elevators? No, Impulse built those. Oh, okay. I thought Impulse built the elevator. Or Azuma built those. They are really cool. I, it just confuses me. <laughs> I am a very confused person. That is true. Where'd Cup go? Cup? Where'd he go? Oh, did he go down the chute? You gotta jump down. Oh, I didn't know where to go. Okay. Oh, there you go. You got it. You got oh, it. oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're ready to do uh, Hawkeye Joe. Hawkeye Joe. I want to see the the pinball machine. Did he add some of the elements to it? Uh, yeah, he's starting to. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe we won't Hawkeye him. Maybe we won't. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how we feel. He says, Why happy is there, birthday to you. Why is there just a random... Is this like a, a viewing platform? Oh, dude, look how cool that looks. I can't Hawkeye man working on his base like this. Oh, look at that. Wow, it really does look like a pinball machine. Wow. Wow, that's actually really cool. No, we'll, we'll spare Joe the Hawkeye today. Oh, Bobby's like updating. It's like the whole thing is like warping. I was like, what's going on? This thing's really cool, Cub. Come back here, Cub. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> Where'd the Cub go? Where did the Cub go? Cubster. Yep. This yep. thing's I'm really here. cool. And eventually this is the... like a fly, like it'll be like a flying game, right? I think so. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's what Joe said. Yeah, this will be really cool. Yeah, super cool. Super cool. He's hiding to avoid a Hawkeye. Hold on, hold on. I want to show you guys something. You guys, are you ready for what's about to happen? Hold on, we got it. We got to go get it. We got to get it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna have to pay for this. Hold on. Wait, what's this one? Oh yeah, here it is, here it is. Three diamonds. It's a tip Three right diamonds. there because this is the greatest thing ever. Okay. Worth every penny. Here it is, here it is. Cub, Cub where, where, where are you? Cub, Cub. I'm here, I'm here. We gotta do the chorus. We gotta do the chorus. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, um... God, I gotta find it, I gotta find it. I got, I bought it, Cub. I, I got it. I bought one. Did you? I bought oh, one nice. and a tip because it's the greatest horn of all time. And a tip? Oh and a gosh. tip, yep. And a tip. So We're, generous. Okay, are you ready? Oh, come on. Too powerful. Too, okay, are you ready? You ready to hit it? <laughs> I gotta actually find mine. Okay, well, use, put, use it. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. And his name is John C. <laughs> Oh, 
magnificent. You, you gotta you got love it. Magnificent. Uh, magnificent. Peak 2009. Uh, the Very combination true. of these two things just creates just a delightful moment. It's great. It's great. Oh, wait, I've, I've won too many horns. Hi, I'm Cleo. What's this? Oh, dude, I forgot Tango gave me. I owe you two decked out frozen shards. That's exciting. Oh, that is exciting. Let me get, there we go. Now I have enough room for all my horns in my box. There we go. I gotta get a separate horns thing. You gotta get, gotta get them. Dude, there's two horns I, I keep forgetting to make because I need to ask Tango how to make horns again. But um, <laughs> I want to make the impulse and I want to I want to make a horn for impulse um, when he's telling Skiz on their podcast when they're eating hot wings. And he's like, Skiz, if you got to say something, you just got to say it, man. You got to do it. You're going to die, man. I'm just going to bleep it out in editing. Um, it's really funny. And then um, there's the one of uh, Grian literally last year on my birthday saying, why is this stream on the Internet? <laughs> Uh, why is this stream on the internet? Is why it, is it on the internet, though? That's a, that's a really good question. I want both of those horns. That's a Did great you question. ever find uh, Sir Flopsalot or whatever his name was? Hop guy? Hop guy's gone, man. He's missing. What happened to Hop dead. guy? No idea. No idea. Oh. I presume Cleo killed him, but Cleo denies it. So I don't know. Wow, that, that would be a Cleo thing to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. I would say burn the. I would say burn this place down, but it's mostly made of stone. That's true. The floor is made of wood. Mm-hmm. But we don't have fire tick on. So That's true. Next season, we should just have fire tick on so we can like burn stuff down. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, Cleo's base looks really cool. It's hard to see Cleo's base like without Bobby mod. Now that I have Bobby mod on, it's like you can see everybody's bases. I see, I just see two. The horses. Oh, dude, you gotta get Bobby, man. I tried. I'm trying to get people to get on the Bobby mod. <laughs> gotta get on the Bobby mod. I, I tried to get Green on the Bobby mod. He tried. It didn't work, but I, I gotta help him get it going because it changes the way you see like Minecraft because you see everybody's stuff. Like it's so cool. Mm -hmm. From a long. No, not the Barbie mod. <laughs> the Barbie no, mod. the Bobby mod. The Barbie mod. Uh... Oh, there's the mustache. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It'd be a nice one to take. That would be. That would be. Now, my, I asked my uh, my audience in my last video what I should, or previous video, what I should um, name my toy store in Scarland. Everyone's like, something to do with, with this guy. But I need his head if he's... I, if I don't name it something after Jimmy, I'll at least take his head and uh, put it in the shop, like as the, the shopkeeper. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is the only one of those heads, I believe, unless you have one. I I have one, mm. but this one is, this one's a little bit nicer. His hair is, you know, well done in this one. So I would take that one. I do have artifacts that I'm willing to trade. Do you? <laughs> I have great and powerful artifacts, Cub. Artifacts. Oh. I would find a, quite a home in your establishment. Oh, okay. Okay. We may be able yeah, to come to an arrangement. One. I would take this one. Just, just go ahead and take it. You know? <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I'll, I guess I'll uh, give uh, Cleo the option of uh, looking through what I have. To be honest with you, I think she needs some help with this. She's going really to struggle with this one. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit barren in here. It needs a little bit more. She needs some help. That's true. I, I'm so glad you're being generous to the, the poor uh, museum on the block. <laughs> true, true. Not the high establishment over here. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to say anything. I don't want to hurt her feelings. But really, I mean, <laughs> she's, she's struggling. She's These struggling. are fighting words, Cub. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are fighting words. Could you make this go for 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 the stream, Cub? The um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, do, I don't want to touch it because I feel like I'll break it. Yeah, yeah. All right, stand back, stand back. Okay, I'm standing back. I'm standing back. Hit go. it. Oh wait, no. Mr. Frog's jumping like crazy. Uh, the frog does not like this. Him. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here. Whoa! Kaboom. Let's go. That's awesome. <laughs> 
Did you ever it figure out cool. why that particular skull has such whoa has such a trail? I don't know actually. It's a lot of particles. It's a lot of particles. The other ones don't have that level of particle. Yep. Yep. It might be that there's more than one skull in the same area. Hmm. That's the only thing I could think of. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. That is pretty <laughs> sweet. That is that is wild. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad wild. you got that. I'm I, glad you got that one. That was the best skull of all the skulls that were in my base. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is neat. Yeah, that's really, really Let's neat. See, that's because there are a lot of skulls, not just one. I, I thought if you started moving around, you would notice if there was more than one skull in there or not. But um, I guess as you move it with the piston, I guess it really doesn't change the block state enough to move the block like the yeah. heads around if there are multiple of them yeah so some there was one time where i the head ran into a block and it exploded so basically i don't know <laughs> i thought it would have exploded more but it didn't oh, okay what's weird. this what's this one right here cub this uh tcg card oh that's the that's the one of a kind b00 error card oh interesting yeah it's supposed to be it's the wrong type basically Remember the uh, the auction? There was an auction for this. Oh, that's right. What's the ability? Is it what's what's unique about it? Uh the the uniqueness is that it's supposed to be balance type, but it's builder type instead. Oh, weird. So it's it's a little bit strong when you play that with uh like rare false and rare scar and rare beef. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Kind of cool. What are these over here? What are these guys? Oh, these are the original burn pieces. Oh, the and TCG poison. Matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, I've never seen those before. Yeah, it's very, very rare artifacts. Rarely I guess seen. it made more sense to use slime and fire because I guess if you're moving these around, you have to like, I don't know, it's longer to break it. Mm-hmm, that's true. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, I think I think plus he would have, those are like heads. Those are like Beef's head from when he changed his skin. So I think it's just more more easy for people to use like poison than honey. Got plus it's tree? instantly broken. Oh yeah, B dubs. There it goes. Now it's working. Got I've never seen this. Wait, well I'm seeing all these things I've never seen before. Replica TCG season one regular season trophy one by I Jevin. I think yeah. I've ever seen that one. This one's animated. If you look at the cards, you can see like a subtle animation. Yeah. yeah. This one was really cool. Yeah, Ethos. Big trophy. Now, is there something missing right here, Cub? Uh, yeah, that's going to be a future thing. Hopefully. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Looking forward to that. I love how there's just random Scarland balloons, by the way, just in and around the museum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somebody, some kid was coming through here and just let one loose, yeah. And then here's the other here. ones floating around, which is really cool. Yeah, Corrales son is holding on to this one, if you noticed. On the yeah, top, that's a good one. one. That's a really cool yeah. one. Oh, and you have the, that's yeah. right, you have the beacon up there now. Or, conduit? The conduit. Yeah, yep. conduit. That's chilling, really cool. Chilling there, yeah. That's very cool, very cool. That is cool. All right, Sir Cub, I must be back to terraforming. Yes, indeed. Did you see Happy the hot again, stage man. section again. attached to the booster, by the way? Yes, yes. What are what's our thoughts, Cub? What's our thoughts? Is this <laughs> is this gonna <laughs> is this gonna work? Because it looks crazy. It looks literally crazy. I think I think it's gonna work. Okay, I think it's okay. Gonna work. Optimism. Okay. I I don't know enough about hot staging to know either one way. Like because. Yeah, I, I did not know enough about that that stuff, so I'm just like, I don't, I don't, I don't have to ask Cub on this one. <laughs> I think I think it will. I think it will. Yeah. It's looking it's looking like they might launch by the end of the month, maybe. Yeah, well, dude, that water deluge system looks so fun. Yeah. Can you yeah. imagine if you had like a boogie board over there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Just ride it, ride, ride it all the way out. Yeah. It absolutely. would be fun. All right, Cub. Goodbye. See ya, man. See ya. Um, but dude, dude, very excited to see that hot stage work. If you're not familiar, so like Starship, 
parts. So they had a really complicated way of doing stage separation originally. So they had booster and then they have the starship portion. So that's stage one. Stage two is is the um, starship, right? And there was a really complicated means of um, stage separation. There was like a twirls and a whole bunch of nonsense out. So now what they're doing is something that was, at least from my research, when I looked into it, um, something the uh, like the Russians did a lot in their rockets was hot staging. So that means that the rocket second stage will engage its engines before stage separation happens. And that just eliminates like degrading of its speed, you know, stuff like that. So it'll be really interesting to see how this works when the Raptor engines on Starship fire. And yeah, that's going to be wild. It's going to be a really interesting thing to see how this all works out. It's going to be really interesting. Alrighty, let's get back to work. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited for that next launch to see the water deluge system, which apparently is working. I think the Starship's number one issue still and will be for some time is the reliability of the Raptors. That's going to be a, a sticking point for them for a while. I think they worked out their pad issues, um, but their main issue now is still and will be for a while be the reliability of Raptors. But, you know, Merlins weren't weren't perfect, perfect, and these are far more complicated than Merlins. So we'll see how it goes, but very excited for the next launch. Overcooked. I've never heard of Overcooked before. I'll have to look that up. Oh, jeez. Yeah, where are you then? You know, where are you then? Seems like those are empty threats being uh, sent out by the old uh, duckster. Sounds like somebody's making empty threats. Overcooked will make me cry. Why is it going to make me cry now? Why is it going to make me cry? Okay. Well, we'll have to check it out. I have no idea what it is. But yeah, if you guys have any uh, Q&A questions, you can always hit me up with a Q&A in the chat. Just hashtag Q&A scar as we work on our terraforming once again. Um, there we go. Sweet. But yeah, according to SpaceX, they're filings with I forgot which agency it was but um, no earlier launch than the 31st of August so I presume maybe optimistically maybe middle September maybe middle September I never thought they would even get to this point um after the prior launch I was like they're probably not going to launch this year it's going to be a lot of work to fix everything and now no apparently they did it all beat my expectations doc is losing it on X. Uh oh, played up is better. I've seen uh, Tango and uh, the, the Scrazzle man playing that. It looked really fun. Yeah, I saw I saw Scrazzle and uh, and Tango playing that. Kuna, will you ever play Five Nights at Friday's? No, I want to play it with other people. You, I just found out today that uh, it's not multiplayer. And I was like, that's a bummer. That's a super bummer. Phasmo is so fun. The only thing with Phasmo that I wish they would um, incorporate is the ability to cast off. I get it's like a like a deduction. You know, you're trying to you're trying to you know learn this you know the the spooky spook or whatever. You know, you're trying to learn who the ghost is, etc. Uh, but I feel like there's like a component of it that's missing, like casting off the ghost or capturing the ghost. I feel like that's like the next phase is like learn what it is and then then try to capture or, you know, cast off the ghost or something like that. I hope that's in a future future update, like that they can incorporate something like that. I think that would be really cool. Uh, let's see. Q&A Scar. In my family, we share the best parts of our year on our birthday. Uh, let's see. What are some of your best parts of your year? Um, uh, that's, a, that's a great question. Um, 
The last year has probably been one of the worst years of my life. So um trying to try, try to be optimistic. Try to be optimistic. Um, let's see. Um, this year, this year. Well, we've really built my basically my dream base in Minecraft. And I was able to share that with you guys, which is very, very special to me. Uh, and I don't take that lightly because this is my dream base and hanging out with you guys and building this together has been so much fun. Like, I can't tell you how much I have enjoyed building this base and like taking the ideas out of my head. Like, you know, obviously we were inspired by like a Disney park, but we have tried to put our own flair and our own like creativity into it. And like, how would I have designed it? And how would I have done this? And, and it's, it's, it's my happy place. I absolutely love this park. It makes me super, super, super happy. Um, another aspect of the year that I've been floored with is MCC. So thankful to be a part of MCC and to be able to, within this last year, pretty much what, two wins? So if we start the year from my birthday last year, I feel like that's within the, the grasp there, two years. So yeah, that was a really, really fun, um, really fun, uh, a fun moment. And topping that off was the Hermitcraft charity stream where, you know, organizing that and getting it all together and was, you know, it was a lot of work getting that all put together. But in the end, my gosh, like <laughs> our stretch goal, our absolute top line that we were thinking we could potentially make was $50,000. And we raised 450,000. So <laughs> a couple more zeros on that number and knowing what those carts are already doing today in the world around the world is just incredible like those those carts are being used right now all over the world from australia to united states to canada soon to be the united kingdom um it they're they're uh, i I think they're already in Sweden. I think they're in Sweden. I don't know about Germany, so I'm gonna follow up on, on where, where the German carts are. Um, I know the UK carts are like, they're on their way. Um, and these these carts are, are being used right now. Like, Before you lay your head to rest, ask yourself, did I grind enough to make the great goat leader proud? The I think I did. Always... No. You could have no. done more. No, I did it all I could. Look at this. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that was a huge accomplishment was, um, was that charity stream. And it was something that I've wanted to do for a very, very, very long time. And getting to do that, uh, was just really exciting and doing it with the hermit, like the, the hermits put so much energy, so much time and passion into it, building out the games, you know, it just being the hermits, like Good on morning. the day. Time to rise and grind because only the early goat will not be left behind. What will you automate today so we can thrive together? Always remember, this is the goat's world. You just live in it. Sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Base don't, don't exist anymore. Anyway, um, but yeah, no, the charity stream was, was, was very, very special. Um, and just knowing like getting updates from gamers outreach on like where the carts are, how many people are using them. Like they, it's just so cool to me. Like Joe shared his experience recently on his trip to um, Vanderbilt, which was awesome. Uh, Tango and um, Impulse made their trip out to Mayo in Phoenix or is it Phoenix or is it um, Scottsdale? Um, but they, they made their trip out there. I made the trip out to Randall here in Oregon. Um, so we were able to see those. Hopefully we'll get some more visits coming up soon um, and seeing them and just being used. And, you know, I thought like Joe asked them on his in his stream. Um, so Joe asked them, uh, you know, like, what were you doing prior to having the, the carts? And they had tried at one point to have like some Xboxes and a basket and they had the wires and they were trying to like hook it up and it just wasn't going well and it never worked. Um, but these carts are so, 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 so useful um that they can just wheel the carts in for for a kid you know the kid can enjoy the carts for you know an hour two hours three hours and then the cart can be wheeled into the next room the carts can be cleaned easy and they're just mobile 
And people ask like, well, why don't they just set up stuff in every room or something like that? Well, that's cost, that's IT. These things are all very like contained and can just be like moved around super, super easy. Um, and it's exciting. And when I went to the the, the cart in uh, at Randall in Portland, uh, they had just received them. So it was really cool to kind of see that Joe got to go to a place where the carts have been heavily in action. And where I went, they were just learning how to use them. So it was kind of cool to see like the differences. I think that was really cool. How do I feel about Mary Poppins? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Mary Poppins. I liked it as a kid. I always really think that they, it's 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 a unbelievable fact that Mary Poppins has never had an attraction at a Disney park. It just blows my mind. It just blows my mind. There's no Mary Poppins right. Q and A. Have you ever been to the Seattle Flight Museum? If uh, no, hope you uh, can while you're there. Oh man, I'm not going to be able to this time, but I would love to. I went there with my um, with my grandpa uh, years and years and years ago with my grandpa and my uncle. Um, we were there for one of my grandma's um, dog shows, and I was bored and I just got attacked by an enormous dog, and I was just all like, I was all discombobulated, and my my grandpa's like, comes over, Ryan, <laughs> we're going, <laughs> we're going. And I was like, where are we going, grandpa? And he said, he goes, it's a surprise. And we get in the van and he's like, and, and, and David, come on, let's go. <laughs> when we go, uh, and then I, you know, we drive there, we drive down and I'm like, oh, sweet airport. And he goes, we're going to the museum, the museum, the air museum. And I'm like, yeah, it's the air museum. Um, so yeah, it was, it was super fun when we went. It's, it's been a really long time, like a really, really long time. Um, but it's fun because my grandpa was a pilot and so he had like an extra level of like appreciation and stuff like that when we were there. Um, he was, he was a pilot later in his life. Like after he retired, he's like, and I'm retired. Now I'd like to fly planes or he might actually start flying planes before he retired. I can't remember. Yeah, I think he actually did long before he retired. Um, but he was a jack of all trades. Whatever he wanted to do, he just decided he would do it. He wanted to learn how to fly a plane. He learned how to fly a plane. He learned how to do this. He learned how to do that. He became a master carpenter, so he needed some furniture. Your great like, goat leader is grinding tirelessly for the progress of our glorious perimeter. What perimeter? Are you? I don't see a perimeter. Do you see a perimeter? No perimeter here. Um... But yeah, that was super, super fun. They had a moon rock there. They had a moon rock. And oh yeah, they they had a an SR-71 Blackbird, but it was like a different variant. It's hard for me to remember, but there was there was something about it that was different from the SR-71. It's almost like it had like a drone attachment on top. It was different because at first I was like, SR-71. And my grandpa was like, no, that is actually da-da-da-da-da. But I'm like, what was it? I can't remember. Right? There's no perimeter. Do you see perimeter? I don't see a perimeter. No perimeter here, guys. Um, the, let's see. The, they have a tiny piece of the moon, but it's still in the room. Dude, wait, it's still, still moon? Wait, I'm confused. It's still there? How long did it take to make the castle? You know, it took a really long time to design it. I had to spend a lot of time in creative because I've never made a castle before and I despise Minecraft castles. So it took a, it took a lot of willpower to make that castle. It took a lot of willpower to make that castle a reality. It was... It was uh, uh. Took a long freaking time, I'll tell you that. Stretching my back, <laughs> stretching my back. Will there be an interior of the castle? Uh, yes, there will be. We've been working on the, the front of the park so much that we've uh, neglected the back of the park. So we're gonna get back to the back of the park very soon. We'll have uh, Impulse start rigging up the firework launcher. So we have our fireworks shows nightly here in Scarland. Uh, start working on the interior of the castle. Um, if we need gunpowder, I'm gonna tell Impulse See, the thing is, like, I have a lot of stuff for Impulse to do, but I also want to make sure it's things that Impulse, like, 
wants to do. <laughs> so I, I need to like talk to him about like, okay, here's some ideas. Like, what, what are your thoughts on some of these? I'm not a dictator. I'm not going to come over here like, impulse. I am the dictator of this place and you shall do as I say. No, I want to make sure they're fun things for him to do too. Tumbling to Nardo tipped $10. Hey, Scar, are you looking forward to Ahsoka next week? I am. We talked quite a bit about it at the beginning of the stream, and uh, I am uh, quite excited. I am uh, very excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Um, trying to be optimistic. As I, I, I said, I would never get excited about a show ever again. <laughs> and then Ahsoka went through went through my, my defenses, and I got excited. But I, I hope it doesn't let me down. If Impulse should fix your storage. <laughs> yeah, I should be like, hey, Impulse. You're under salary. Go fix my, uh, my thing. What's my favorite breakfast option? Um, It's really hard to choose which is better, pancakes or waffles. So I will say French toast. The kind that my mom made before swimming. So I'd probably say that. It's tough. It's tough, you know. Pancake. It, it, pa some pancakes are really good. Others are kind of, you know, squanchy. It's not squanchy. That's a weird word. I don't even know what that means. Um, you know what? I, actually, you know, that's what a bad pancake is. It's squanchy. It's 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 like soggy and spongy. But a really good pancake is nice and fluffy. Um, and a good waffle is both crispy on the outside, but soft on the inside. Um, but French toast is very consistent, in my opinion. Very consistent. Very, cons very consistent. Milk sog, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Very milk soggy, it can be. Hello, Taylor. Hello, hello, hello. Pancakes hands down. Now, Taylor, I have a good big, I have an important question. Do you meet American pancakes? Because I met a British man once, and he said that, that the British don't know how to make pancakes. And when he comes to America, he gets very excited for American pancakes. Tell me if this is true, Taylor, our resident, uh, our resident uh, British representative. Oh, what the heck? Cobb! <laughs> what was that? What's that? Is that a creeper? Oh man, it blew up our little hill. We just finished working on this. Uh, the British guy, well, I think I've mentioned it to Mumbo once. Um, asked him about pancakes, but no, the, this guy was, uh, he was somebody I met at the original E, not E3. It was uh, the original TwitchCon back in 2015. That's right, 2015. I did the, uh, I, I set up the disability Good panel for night. Before you lay your head to rest, ask yourself, did I grind enough to make the great goat leader proud? Oh, we made you very proud, Doc. The answer is always, you could have done more. We made you so proud, Doc. <laughs> Swedish pancakes, interesting. Did they incorporate the meatballs or the Swedish fish in them? It's crazy to think Good that 2015 morning. was eight years Time ago. I know, I know. Grind, because only the early goat will not be left behind. Absolutely insane. What will you automate today so we can thrive together? Always remember. Yeah, it gets played a lot. Yes. <laughs> you. It gets played. Opinions on Google acquiring Minecraft. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. No, nah, Microsoft seems to quite enjoy their Minecraft. Really miss I really miss uh Minecons. We had a, we had a scar rant about that the other day. I won't I won't go into so much detail, but I really I really do miss it. It's such a shame. I think next year is a perfect year to bring it back, being it's Minecraft's 15th anniversary. Or, yeah, 15th anniversary. 
Have I been playing Minecraft for 15 years? Oh my gosh, I just realized that. Let me check the scroll. Let me check the scroll. Oh my gosh. Yep. 15 years next year. 15 years. Fifteen. A scroll of scrolls has spoken. Fifteen years, my gosh. Oh boy. I remember when I got it. Oh. I was watching C Nanders. Do anybody remember C Nanders? Watching C Nanders back then. And um and he was playing this game. <laughs> and at that time, Modern Warfare 2 was the prevailing game. But it was horrible. It was horrible. Because at the time, Activision was having all sorts of issues with with um, their developers. Because their developers, I think they were being mistreated or there was some bonuses not paid out. Uh, developers, I believe, left. And there were some lawsuits thrown around. I, I can't remember the details. Something along those lines. Um, and the game wasn't... Uh, supported so people w found a lot of different exploits in the game commando one man army one man army noob tube so you could basically have an unlimited um a grenade launcher it was terrible like the game was just abysmal there was a there was a glitch where you could have emergency airdrops and it would just drop all these like kill streaks on your head it, it was crazy um so so like way back then, it it was terrible. And so so Cnanders um, started playing a game, Minecraft, and it was like, whoa, what is this game? Because I love the idea of changing your world. Like there were there was games at that time that were really leaning into um, destruction, like Battlefield at the time. Um, I feel like Battlefield games have way less destruction than those original Bad Company games. Anyway, um, and the idea of like changing the world was like crazy. I was like, wow, this is exciting. Um, I really want to try this, but Minecraft was really hard to buy back then because it was very much an indie game. It was very much, a, very obscure, very much an indie game, and you had to buy it through PayPal, and I'd never used PayPal up until then, and it was, the money went to, like, a guy. I think it was a personal account to Notch back in the day. Like, it was, it went to Marcus Peterson or whatever it was the name, and I remember my parents were like, Yeah, we put the dirt right on the deep slate on diamond orb. Um, it was like, I my, I was like, uh, I think I went to my parents. I'm like, have you ever used PayPal? <laughs> this is like 2000, what, nine or 10, I guess. Uh, I was like, I've never used it. Um, and they're like, no, we haven't either. And my dad's like, well, what is it? And I was like, well, there's this game I want to play. It's made by this like Swedish guy. And they're like, are you sh <sighs> Because I had no money then. And I was going to spend like my only dollars <laughs> like why are you sending your money to why are you sending your money to swedish are you do you know you're gonna get anything in return and i'm like i'm pretty sure c nanders plays it <laughs> c nanders is playing it um because at that time like um i actually had a very small job um i, I did like a little bit of work for the company my dad worked for and I could, I could, and so I got paid by the hour for like the work that I could do. And so I had like a little bit of money and I'm just like, I really want this game. So I played the free version for a little while. And do you remember, does anybody remember that there was a free version of Minecraft and it was called like Minecraft Arcade or something? So I played that a little bit and then I got the game and then we went to my brother's wedding and I remember I, I played Minecraft for like two days, like maybe even just a day. And I remember the whole time at my brother's wedding, I'm like, I want to get back to that game. That game was so fun. I need Minecraft in my life. I need the Minecraft. I need the Minecraft. 
And I remember my dad's laptop he brought because we drove all the way from California up to Washington. Then we had to do something there. And then we drove all the way then from Washington state to Minnesota in an automobile and to my brother's wedding. And the whole time I'm like, I want to play the Minecraft. And uh, <laughs> my dad had his laptop with him, but it wouldn't play it. Like it, the laptop was was beyond, Minecraft was beyond that, uh, that laptop's ability. <laughs> so you couldn't play it. Um, and then I got really, really sick. And then as I was sick, I was like, I want to play the Minecraft. And then I played Minecraft. And here we are. The best investment. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a solid investment. <laughs> investment of my time is well worth it. It's just, a, yeah, it's just crazy. Like, I remember there was a, there was a YouTuber I watched. Um, I wish I knew his name because Cnars didn't make all that many videos on Minecraft. He introduced, so I credit Cnanders for the success of Minecraft. Why do I say that? It's because most people back then, especially the YouTubers who went on to play Minecraft and especially the YouTubers who went on to explode and become 10 million plus channels, they watch Cnanders. Cnanders introduced them to Minecraft who then became 10 million plus YouTube channels on the platform. Um, so I always credit the success of a lot of the success of Minecraft early on was to Cnanders because he gave this, he showed so many people this game that eventually made like Minecraft made their channels. So always huge props out go to Cnanders. Um, uh, Skyrose Gaming, thank you so much for the two month subscription. Very much appreciated. Um, so yeah, it's a, uh, it's such an interesting time back then because most people really don't know much about the original time in, in Minecraft. Yet Paul Sirs Jr. taught a lot of people how to play Minecraft back in the day. That's very, very true. That's very, very true. So I started in 2011, actually YouTube wise, YouTube wise. And I was, I was very much an actual hermit. Um, I built, I built everything by myself in my survival world in Scarland. I, I stayed pretty much content being entirely alone on YouTube until like 2014. I did a, a little series. Um, and then, and of course, and then 2016 is when I joined Hermitcraft. So yeah, I joined Hermitcraft in 2016. I wonder if anybody remembers my 100 thousand subscriber special i wonder if anybody remembers that it's on my original uh survival world which was called scarland hence this what i'm building scarland here on hermitcraft is an homage to that um but yeah you've watched the 100k special sir that's cool yeah my 100 okay i'm not even gonna spoil it. i want you guys to go watch my 100k special you can just search good times with scar 100k special um no, 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 ha, speed, precision, accuracy. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. It's really fun. What's cool about that survival world, Scarland, is there's basically no farms in that world. And I grinded. <laughs> there was, there was no thriving and optimizing. Before you lay your head to rest, ask yourself. Did I grind enough to make the great go to Oh, problem? I grinded. I just didn't automate the and thrive. The answer is always, you could have done more. Tilly the Huntshared X500. I played at beta. I watched CNANAS and Etho. Then I quit to have a career for 12 years. I came back in 2021 and found you. Happy B-Day. Oh, dude, that's a, that's a, I love that story. That's really cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. I, I love that. I love that Cenars gets a little love there because I don't think he gets the appreciation for how many people he introduced Minecraft to who then introduced Minecraft to them. Like he was kind of like the catalyst, I believe, in um, how Minecraft spread. Time to rise and grind because only the early, early goat gets deafened. 
Uh, do I like podcasts? I do enjoy a good podcast. I need a good podcast rep, rep recommendations. I'm kind of in between podcasts right now. Um, I need some good recommendations. I went through a phase where I watched a lot. John Cena podcast. No. There he John is. Cena. Scar, it's time. What's, it's time. what's going on? What's going on? Take it. Take it. Oh you no. You gotta write a book. You gotta write a book, Scar. Oh, I got I got plans. I'm gonna get you a book. I'm gonna get you the book. After I eat my cake today, I will I will get you the book. I got plans. The hot guy, the I got two hot guy stories in my mind. It's gonna be great. He doesn't believe me. He doesn't believe me, but it's true. Nope. Nope. I I've don't got... believe you. But you know who does believe you? Who? A decorated U.S. Marine Corps veteran. And his name is John C. Uh. Was John Cena in the military? Is he a military man? I didn't know that. I don't know any. I don't know much about John Cena. He was like a wrestler, wasn't he? I saw him in that Punisher show. I feel like I don't know anything about this gentleman. Okay, I'm getting some yeps, yeses, and nos right now. <laughs> That's just typical with Twitch chat. You ask a question, yes, no, maybe, could be. Where's my arrow? I know nothing. I know nothing either. Cub, I need to know. I need to know. You know what I do love about podcasts is the Imp and Skiz podcast. I am their number one promoter. That's right. I, I have a self-appointed promoter of, of uh, the Imping Skiz podcast. I let everybody know about that podcast. Why am I trying to sleep when there's no sleep being needed? Um, yes, that is right. I am the unofficial promoter of the Imping Skiz podcast. They did not task me with this job, but it is a job that I have assigned myself. That's a good one. The, the Backlot Boys. That's a great podcast. That's a great podcast. Everybody should watch the Backlot Boys. Dude, there's one of them on there. Super cool. Super cool. This has these really good takes and like really good ideas on how to make like theme parks better. Whew. I think his name is like Scar or something. I don't know. <laughs> Two million tipped I do not know how to finish Happy this. Happy birthday, Scar. Oh, well, thank you very much. Very much. Thank you. Hmm. I'm, I'm like just thinking like how am I going to incorporate this to that? <laughs> Maybe I can just expand thicken this, right? Just add a little bit of thickness to it and I might be able to get away with not doing too much action right there. Yeah, that might be good. That might be good. Hello there. Oh, by the way, we were, we were, we were complaining about video games a while back. Why, 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 why on earth? Has it been so long since the last GTA in Skyrim? Like, seriously. Like, seriously. What in the world? What in the world? What in the world? <laughs> Just ridiculous. Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. When we used to get these games, like, every couple years. Now, what is it, every, like, 20 years? Has Rockstar fallen off? I, I hope not, because, my god. To me they revolutionized so much. 300. I'm trying to figure out how this is going to look. I don't want this to look hokey dokey, but we're going to do our best. It hasn't been that long since the last Skyrim. You mean the last time it was ported to something or the last time they released the game? They released the game in 2012. So that's the frustrating part about it is that they used to release things every like three, four years or something. These big like temple games. Now, what is it like? We're doing 20 now. Uh, let's see. Uh, Hoffman, how are you? Uh, let's see. I love Scarlands Main Street. Which architectural style is your favorite? Which architectural voice? Which architectural style in Scarland or architectural style in general? If it is in general throughout the world, it's um, uh, California Craftsman is my uh, is my absolute 
favorite, followed up by mid-century modern, but a very mid-century modern that I have, like some mid-century modern that I can take it or leave it, but there's a very specific mid-century modern I absolutely love, um, especially like modern mid-century modern is cool, um, followed by probably Art Deco, um, probably followed very closely by Art Deco. Um, Tommy Guns cheered X1000, lover content man, keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Very much appreciated. Um, that was very nice of you to say. Thank you for the bits. Um, so yeah, that's probably like my order of my like first kind of set. There used to be this art collection. Um, these it was a furniture collection, and I know I'm gonna turn I'm gonna swing this back to Disney, but it was based off the Disney Studio. It was expensive furniture at some store, but it was so cool. It was they it was themed towards the uh, the 1925 like studio. Oh, it was so cool. Um, architectural wise in this area, if I were to pick maybe my favorite build of all of them, that's a tough one. This reminds me of Roller Coaster Tycoon. It was inspired by kind of the colors and feelings of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, that, that unintentionally looks like the Corn Palace. Hmm, what is my favorite build? What's my favorite build? What is your favorite building? This is a good question. I do like these two corner buildings, especially like this one because it. Um, I, I, I just love how the colors came together. Hmm. This one just reminds me of like New York and you're going to get a pizza. <laughs> uh, I do like this one. This is the um, Willy Wonka building. So this one, I don't know why, but this just reminds me of Willy Wonka. So that's the Willy Wonka building. Uh, I like the little skinny ones too. I think they add a lot of character to it where you do have the bigger structures and then you have these kind of like tiny ones kind of squeezed in. This building is purposely designed to be kind of anonymous looking, this brown building. Um, the reason being is that it uh, is the bathrooms. <laughs> it's just kind of blends in a little bit. Everything's very neutral in its color palette. So it kind of just blends in. Um, and that of course is the bathroom. I do want to change up this sign here to maybe represent the bathrooms in some way. I'm not entirely sure. Um, also trying to think about what was the most difficult of these buildings. I would actually say the most difficult building was this one because I was really trying hard not to make it look like that building because every building I tried really hard to try to avoid it being too close to the other buildings. Be it's a tough thing, right? Because you want everything to feel like it's part of the same world, but also unique. So that was a struggle. But this one was a this one was a really big struggle. Um, and it does have a pretty sweet interior in that one. Uh, let's see. The small buildings do have me think of Amsterdam. Yeah, that's actually interesting. These weren't inspired by Amsterdam, but I was going to do an Amsterdam build at one point here on season seven that didn't or nine that didn't actually work out, um, which will actually might not be Amsterdam when it's built in season 10, but the essence of what I want to build. I'm trying to explain this. There's a, there's a thing that I want to build and I was trying different uh, build styles around it and the whole thing didn't actually work, but there could have been influence from Amsterdam because I was doing a lot of research on like the canals and stuff like that. This is also a fun building. These two, I like these two. They're the really nice, um, you know, that photo in LA that it, it has like that, uh, that pink, you know, kind of bright colored, um, house. And then there's that really dark house. That's all this like, you know, dark grays and stuff. <laughs> that's what these two look like. I just realized, I don't even know if that's real or if it's just a meme or not, but yeah, I do like these two buildings. And of course this is the candy, the candy shop, candy cake, jelly snacks, sweets and desserts. I wish, I really wish there was something back here. Oh, uh, really wish there was something back there. I want to eat those things, by the way. I want to eat them. They sound delicious. They sound now delicious. Cheered X 500. Happy birthday, Scar. How oh, often you, you, you like the candy shop too. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I do too. It, that's that is a hundred percent an homage to the Disneyland Candy Palace because 
as I, as, as, as a very young kid, when I associated Disneyland with anything, it was all, or her Disneyland, one of the things that always came to my mind was like the neon in Tomorrowland. And this is like, because I have a weird memory. I remember things when I was very, very young. Um, that I always remembered the smell of vanilla outside the, the candy shop. So I had, had to put a little homage to that. There. You know, I feel like that was a, I clicked the bed. There we are. Scar, have you been doing any artwork? Sadly, no. Sadly, no. I wish. Um, I, I've... There, there, there's been little time outside of my computer this last week, like doing two videos in one week. I've, I've neglected many things. <laughs> I've neglected many things in the last, the last week. It's been rough. And then I've been doing quite a few appointments lately. Um, so it's, I haven't had a lot of time to do anything. Uh, how's Pirates SMP going? I'm hoping to stream Pirates tomorrow. Um, like I said, I had so many things I had to catch up on the last two weeks, um, like video wise and then appointment wise that I've some things have fallen by the wayside a little bit. Just finished the video on the perimeter. Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad you liked it. Glad you liked it. Glad you liked it. Uh, let's see. Speaking of games, have you played COD? But have you tried Rainbow? You have you played COD? But have you tried Rainbow Six? I I played it in the beta. So story with that was I played with some friends and we had these really good like teammates that were very good. We had so much fun and I remember telling my friend at the time I'm like, okay, here's the deal. We had so much fun and when this game comes out, there's zero chance we're gonna have so this much fun. We're never playing this again. He's like, agree. <laughs> And we never played it again. We had so much fun with Rainbow Six Siege in that beta. Like, oh my gosh, we, we won everything. Like, it's such a dream team. And it was like, this game will never be fun like this. We're never going to play it again. We're just going to cherish these memories. I saw David Vanderhaar uh, left uh, Activision, which was a shock, but also an understandable shock. Like, he's worked there a very long time, probably wants to move on or do other things, but... David Vandahar is like a staple of the uh, COD development. Made one of my favorite CODs, Black Ops 1 and 2. Boy, oh boy, did I put some time into those games. I love Black Ops 1 and 2. Man, those were the heydays of playing Call of Duty, weren't they? Dark days, I'll tell you that. Dark days these days when it comes to COD. Boy, oh boy. Not that those games were perfect in any means. There was a lot of stuff that people complained about, but when you look back, the, especially Black Ops 2, that was one of the best games. A lot of glitches, my God. That's one thing you gotta say about Call of Duty these days. Way less glitches than there were back in those days. Woo, especially on the PlayStation. My gosh, if you played Call of Duty back in like Modern War Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, um, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Playing on the PlayStation was horrible, horrible. It was the worst. All those people on their Xbox 360s back in the day, just constantly telling us how bad we were and how bad of a platform we were on. And was like, we get it. You don't need to rub it in that your platform's more superior. How the tables have turned in some ways in the console, console wars on that way. But geez Louise, that was rough. <laughs> Man, voice chat wouldn't work, or game lobbies never worked. There, there'd be times where there were weeks where you just couldn't talk to your friends. It was so bad. Like there was times where you couldn't talk, you couldn't party up. It's rough. You gotta say at least this. In these days, a lot of the tech issues are worked out. It's just the games are kind of. They're not bad. They're not bad. It's just you know, for somebody who's played a lot of them, just kind of samey. You know, I guess they're just churn and burn their audience. 
Zip Zappo and cheered X500. Zip Zap. Happy birthday, Scar. I, I love that name. Zip Zap. I third life a few days before your birthday last year and loved it. I have had worms in my brain since less than three. Worms in your brain. Let's see. Start watching you when I binge uh, third life. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah, I can't wait for another uh, life series. Going to be fun whenever that day comes. I'm really trying to figure out how to like do this. I think I'm just going to start cutting it across like that and then just using that as the template. Let's go play poker. I wasn't super great at poker, but I was good at blackjack. I don't even remember the rules, honestly. I played them as kids when we were in swimming and we um, we used to auction. Well, our coach had a, had his own currency and uh, we would we would use that money to gamble at swim meets. Is that against the law? I don't know. Statue of limitations is over. The Giraffe, thank you so much for stopping by and saying happy birthday. Very much appreciated. Excited for the new life series? I am a two. I am a two. I think it's going to be very, 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 very fun. Um, I really don't know if I should be talking about this. I will stop and I will not say any more about it because then I will say something I shouldn't. And I am going to be a good scar, and I'm going to be a good scar, and I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I am not going to say a darn thing. I feel like I feel like you were guys were leading me on, on astray. It's very nicely and very subtly. Oh. <laughs> I am a good scar who does not bad, doesn't say things that he shouldn't say about series that he shouldn't talk about. Oh, look, Doc's perimeter's gone. Ha ah. It's my birthday. I can get away with it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I get away with it. What other, what other scar topic have I not talked about, by the way? What scar topic have I not covered? We talked about hot staging. We talked about Ahsoka. We talked about the parks being spun off. Kazbark Gaming cheered X500. Just give us intentionally incorrect life series spoilers, Scar. Oh, a lot guys. Of the time it's fun just seeing what you come up with on the fly. On the fly. Boom. Dead life. That's right. We're doing a new series. It's called Dead Life. Okay? You work with me here. Half it, the teams are split. Teams are split. Half alive, half dead. Boom. Each are trying to end each other. Some are the, uh, the deads are the zombies. They're on the other side of the map. The, the, alive, the alive people are on the other side. That's all I got. That actually sounds kind of fun. <laughs> that actually... That could kind of work. Sounds kind of fun, actually. Uh, can I make up one that's really stupid, not one that actually sounds fun? Okay. Um, no, I keep thinking of this another series. I like this series. I like I like where that's going. Yeah, dead people start in the Nether. That's really cool. You kind of like cross over, so the uh, the alive people might be trying to like block portals as the uh, as the zombies try to come through. That could be a really fun series. Look at us. Look at us being all creative over here coming up with ideas. Dude, next time I need ideas, I'm going to stream. Kaz, you give me prompts and we'll just spitball. We'll just, we'll just spitball them. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot.
Dude, at least the building's not going to be hanging off the side of a cliff anymore because that looked bad. That looked bad. So I'm glad I'm glad of one thing. This building is no longer hanging off the side. And now it's starting to look actually fairly decent. It's kind of sad it won't happen. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll just make up my own series. Dead life. <laughs> I don't know what it would be, but you know, yeah, there we go. Could very well make that up. Why can't I fly? Why can't I fly, 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 fly? And then I have my... We'll have to look in the crystal ball. Crystal ball, the great, powerful crystal ball. Let's see if that series will ever happen. All right, let me check with the chat here. How are we doing? Short life? <laughs> what is, is it a B-Dub series only? We got a well Mazadoodle coming out. 96 months. 96 months. 96 month resubscription, guys. 96 months. Wild, wild Mazadoodle at 96 months. <laughs> Slam directly into a tree. Well, I gotta see my future. I mean, this is how we won MCC. Zombies versus living, but the living can trap the zombies and cure them. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Maybe in a future. All right, let's see. How do I do this? How do I do this? Oh, geez. If that this is actually heavy, if this fell, it would be a disaster. OK. Is there an MCC win in my future? Yes, you can see it through the crystal ball. These are the rules. <laughs> These are the rules. Am I okay with sh sh ship shopping, shipping, shipping? I don't know. I mean, like boats? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Have you seen Hamilton? No, I have not. I have not. Uh, let's see. In, in Irish, we call gummies jellies. Oh, you're eating. You're eating jellies. <laughs> Another MCC pick? Oh, well, this is my new one. This is my new coin. Look at that. Pretty cool. Mazoodle cheered X500. Totally true scar fact. Scar's birthday routine is a tall glass of milk, a mayonnaise sandwich, and an evening watching Lilo and Stitch. Oh! 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 Oh, that is, that is literally my nightmare. That is my nightmare. Jelly? Jelly, I need you to I need you here to pet. I need you to pet me. Not you pet me. I was gonna pet you, but that's fine. If you want to pet me, that's okay too. Oh, the thought of mayonnaise and milk in the same sentence just brings me shudders. Brings me shudders. Oh. Two two of the worst substances on the planet. Oh my gosh. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I heard snakes love milk and mayonnaise, you know? That's that's why that's why we can't we can't have these things, we can't we can't. What's the snake's favorite meal? Anything with mayonnaise on them. I heard. Mhm mm mhm mm mhm. Mm snakes are not cute. They're horrifying creatures. They're horrifying creatures and always associated with villains. It's a fact. It's a fact. I don't make it the rules, but these are the rules. I've never seen a cute snake in my life. Vicious creatures they are. All vicious. All scary. All terrifying. It's nothing controversial. I don't make up these rules. I don't make up these rules. Mayo and peanut butter. No, toy. No, 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 Oh, that sounds bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. I need I need a distraction. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we need another topic right away. Oh, man. Thanks for reminding me. I sent you some decor for your new snake's new tank for your birthday.
you assume I have a snake. Oh, the thought of the thought the the thought Mazadoodle of having a snake is just horrifying. I I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't. You know, I asked one of our mods, Harold. I was like, on average, how many snakes do you see in Australia every month? And he gave up like I thought he would say, oh, I I don't know, I haven't seen one in forever. And he was like, oh, yeah, we see them, uh, you know, a couple times a week. And I was just like, no, no, the rumors are true. The rumors are true. <laughs> it's like you poor, poor Australians having to deal with such horrors. I feel so bad for you. I feel so bad. What? Don't tell me there's something actually called a milk snake. If there's such thing of a milk snake, I don't, I don't think I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I would do, but I, it wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be good. You see snakes in Texas pretty often. I mean, there is there is little snakes around where we live. They're very they're they're pretty small. Um, I don't know. I, I I remember when I got scared of snakes. I saw a rattlesnake at. Um, it was a, like, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was like a zooish type thing in, uh, um, when I was growing up in California. And I remember I didn't really think much of it. And then when I went back home and I was playing in my sandbox, like I just kept thinking that snake was in the bushes and I remember just running in being like, oh my God, oh the snake, oh my God. And ever since then, just terrified of snakes. There are milk snakes? No, there can't be. Please don't tell me there is. What what does this mean? What you... Okay, no, no, no more snakes. Let, let me let me let me radically change the topic here. We'll go back to one of my tried and true um my my tried and true uh thing to get the chat to, to think of something else. Mending should be removed from the game. <laughs> Oh. oh, man. <laughs> See, I did it. Ah, oh, no more snake talk. Oh, we did it. Great success. Great success. We did it, Jelly. Mazoodle cheered X500. Hilarious, you were afraid of a snake in the bushes when snakes in sandboxes are actual hazards for children in some places. You telling me there were snakes where I... Where Telling me there was a snake in that sandbox. That is actually really scary. That's terrifying. You just play in your sandbox and pops all pops up ahead. Oh god, that's horrifying. How about that mending, guys? What do you think? Get rid of it? Yeah, we should get rid of it, or at least nerf it. Oh my gosh, we should uh we should uh how about that villager trading, guys? What do you think about it? <laughs> Uh, nothing like, nothing like, uh, changing the topic of the chat by bringing up mending and villagers. I've never had the chat get so mad at me. It was in season seven and I said that they should nerf the ability to get mending from villagers because I thought if you cure a villager enough and you get a mending book for one, for one single emerald i was like that's too much and i've never seen the check it's so mad in in game development you have to avoid giving players shortcuts if you give players shortcuts and you realize you made a mistake it is so hard to take that back and it does seem like mojang's trying to readdress the, their misbalance misbalancing of the traders originally and now they're now it's like quite the controversy right now they did get nerfed, but it's, um, we'll see if it sticks. I think a lot of people don't realize that those aren't real snapshots. Those are like experimental tests to kind of get a feeling from the audience. They're not snapshots. That's a big point. I 
Mending, when it was introduced, was supposed to be incredibly rare. And it was only supposed to be a treasure book. And I think they probably should have stuck with that, but they gave people the ability to get Mending so long from villagers, I don't think they're going to put that genie in the bottle. I don't think they can put that back. But we'll see. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. Uh, let's see, when is Creo restocking the TCG cards? Um, right now, it's mainly focused on fulfilling what, what has been ordered, um, because it's, uh, it's, it's wild. There's like Any animated shows insane you're amount of cards. Watching? I'm starting out on Robot Chicken. Uh, any animated shows you're currently watching? Um, I do want to watch the Mystery Shack one again. Um, Mystery Island, Mystery Forest, um, Mystery Falls, Mystery Springs, um, Gravity Falls. There we go. Um, I do want to. I do want to watch that again because I didn't. I didn't finish it. Um, Ended up in the hospital and never got back to it. So I do need to get back into it. Uh, that's that's one I would like to um, rewatch. There was another question. What was the other question? What was the other question? There was another question in the chat. I wanted to answer. Um. Ow. There we go. I don't remember what it was. Oh, with Creo. Um, yeah, I think right now, like the main focus is getting the game boxes out. So all the hermits um, have signed the cards, like the, the free sign cards that go into the game boxes. Like the little prizes, I guess, or how are they doing that? I, I forgot exactly how they're doing it, but um, for every box, there, there's like going to be like a, a surprise, like sign card or a hollow. I don't know. You don't come to me for news <laughs> or for details, but um, but those those I think are pretty much all signed. Um, I'm not sure when those cards are going to get shipped, uh, like the game box, like the actual game boxes, but I think relatively soon. And I mean that like in the next like month or two, right? I shouldn't actually be saying things that I do not know. <laughs> I don't know. I am looking forward to getting my game box. I bought quite a few of them myself. So, um, and I bought some for presents for people. So those, those will be exciting. Um, soon we will, oh, let's see. Uh, the first batch is September, October. Okay, good to know. Cause I apparently didn't. Um, and then the collector's editions will come in December. Okay. December, November. I think it was like, that's how I would consider it. I would, I would look at it as like, once we get confirmation on everything arriving, because the hermits all have to sign, right? For the, the current, the first batch, that's the, the game boxes. And those are the hollows and the, the first batch of sign cards from the original rare and um, standard cards, not the collector's edition cards. That's separate. Um, once those are all returned to Creo, then we, then they get, then they start getting packaged and prepared. Um, and then we're just finishing up the signing process with the hermits. Um, because like, you know, like, like, you know, it's, 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 it's an effort to send. What are you guys doing over here? Horsing around. It's an effort to, um, to, you know, ship out all the cards to the hermits, get them all to be signed, all shipped back. You know, people, some people live and. You know, some some places pretty far, so it takes a little bit. Um, and then once that's all wrapped up, then I think we start getting the collector's edition cards sent and that <laughs> that's going to be crazy. Uh, I mentioned it before my hand, <laughs> the original like the sightings that we did right like this time, I think all the hermits did like 400. That's going to be slipped into the game boxes. Um, the cards like the the collector's edition cards there's a lot and it's gonna be it's gonna take i don't know it's gonna take a really long time to sign those cards and it's gonna be fun um i might sign or uh, stream some of it so i think that might be kind of fun quiet um i just want to fly away i might stream some of it 
Maybe we could get some of the other hermits to join us and we can have some fun. Um, Tubbo! Tubbo, 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 how are you? How are you, fellow pirate? Hello, pirate. You know, by the time I get back on Pirates SP, Tubbo, you're, you're gonna probably have some enormous ship fully decked out, probably have cannons on it. And I'm just gonna be in this rinky dink boat, like, hey, guys, I'm back on the server. How's everybody doing? You're good? Still haven't got a flintlock. <laughs> uh, I hope you're doing good, Tubbo. Jelly, we're, we're having, we're, we're just, we have no time for you right now. It was your birthday yesterday. Now we don't, we don't, we don't care about you. No, I'm just kidding. We care about Jelly. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'll, I'll, I will tend to you in a moment. Thank you. Okay, good. I think we've actually got this cliff now designed, so it's not hanging over. I think that I will be with you in a second. I think this looks good. A few little touches here and there, and I think it'll be perfect. All right, let me check my chat here. Um, so yeah, T TCG, super fun. I probably should never talk about dates and releases because I really don't know. <laughs> Take everything I say with a grain of salt. Okay? Grain of salt. Dude, this looks so much better. This looks so much better than having the entrance building hanging over the side of a cliff. Oh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Obviously, way more work to go, but at least we're not in the situation we were before. That's good. Oh, by the way, there's a bit of a spoiler for the next video. These pieces of the structure right here, and of course on the other side, I'm actually gonna tunnel through these and make these the exit to the park. So this is an exit point to the park, and it's gonna have turnstiles that, that only operate from the outside going outwards. So you can't walk in from that direction, you can only walk out. And um, both sides here, we're gonna connect these with paths to the main area. So it just separates the entrance from the exit. Now, the other thing that I don't know what to do and I could use some opinions on is how do we sell the tickets to go into the park? So it's a little bit of a spoiler that we are gonna have tickets, a standard ticket and a VIP ticket, but I don't know where to sell them. Originally, I thought in those two um, peaks here that we would create some kind of dispenser where you can buy the tickets or we could do the tickets in potentially the shopping district where people can buy. So I, I'm not entirely sure. We, we need to figure out um, how best to handle that because Hermits will be able to buy either a day ticket that they can come into the park or they can buy a VIP ticket, which is a permanent ticket, which will allow them unlimited access to the park. And by having the unlimited access to the park, that means they can get as much food and as much Scarland uh, souvenirs as they want coming in to the park. And eventually, of course, we are gonna have rides for the hermits to enjoy. But for now, without rides, at least they can come in and have uh, some snacks because we got a lot of snacks. So we could very well do um, like a little shop here in the shopping district um, that sells the Scarland tickets, which might be good because we have so little presence. Oh, where's my boat? Where's my boat? Where's my boat? Do I, I don't even have a horn on me. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Don't do it! No, Don't he do sees it. me! No, you're getting it. Jeez, man. Ah, uh, dang! You know, I really Star, tried to get you, you. Can I offer you a new item here at the museum? Come on in. You knew who in. taught me my ways. Who's that? And his name is John. Cena. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. I got, I got mine now, I got mine now. And his name is John C. Hold up. And his name is John C. Oh, God, you gotta love it. It does work well. You gotta love it. It does work well. It does work well. Can I interest you in the Unbreaker brush, Scar? Ooh. 
I have actually never seen one of these in person. Ooh, unbreak a brush. Yeah. I, oh, wow. You can put mending. Dude, how did you put the colors on here? Oh, that's our name formatting. You can do that on it, actual tools? Yeah, you can make it bold or different colors or, yeah, stuff like that. Yep. You know who would love that? And his name is John C. <laughs> It's a lot of trumpet. <laughs> it's a lot of trumpet. It's uh, a lot of trumpet. So Holy how much smokes. is the unbreakable brush? Good question. Oh, he uh, hasn't figured it out yet, I see. Yeah, I have to figure it out. Okay, it out. I will be back to buy an unbreakable uh, brush. Also, I would love to buy one of these. I, I will probably buy you out of this. Yeah. Now, can you go place this on the ground? No, 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 no. You can't oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You can place it, but you can't, you can't uh, pick it back up. Okay, so once it's on the ground, it, that's it. It's it's on the ground forever. Yeah, unless you, yeah, unless you use cobwebs to get it back or. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, that's good. It's to hard. Know. It's hard to get it back. It's time consuming to get. It and genuinely back. was about to place that on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You would have had to pay for it then. Yeah, you 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 break it, you buy it, I guess. That's the truth. That's the truth. Scar, are you doing uh you doing anything right now? You want to do some panda drop? Some panda drop? I kind of want to do panda drop. I have not done panda drop in an almost a year. Let's do panda drop. Panda drop! All right, let's do panda drop. Okay, if you don't remember, panda drop was a mini game I built for the charity event. And I always wanted to do a panda drop competition and I never did it. Never did it. Um, I should do it, but I haven't done it. I haven't done it. So well, let's do that real quick. Let's do that real quick. I really want to do a panda drop because I wanted to do a trophy. Like it would be it would, uh, the vision that I had always was like a water bucket in Minecraft with a panda in it and then fire around it. That'd be really cool. Like if we did like a real panda drop like competition. What's Panda Drop? Well, Panda Drop is one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft is drop from world height. Try to try to catch yourself with an MLG water bucket save. That's basically what Panda Drop is. It's themed that the pandas are on threat of a wildfire and you're dropping in there with your water bucket to save the pandas. I thought it was pretty clever. I thought it was pretty clever. All right. So here's the charity event area. Super cool. Oh, there's all the chairs. Dude, I haven't been here in so freaking long. Look at the chairs. Look at the chairs. Love it. Oh my gosh, I never cleaned this area up. My bed is still here from October. Oh, join a voice group? Yeah, good idea, good idea, good idea. Um, Cub can join that. Oh, we might actually have to refill. You know what? I'm going to dump off my stuff here. And dump off everything like a sou. And we might have to refill the dispensers. I know people have played it, and I don't know if it's been replenished. So we shall find out. So, of course, the bucket's up here. Dude, these helicopters? Come on now. Come on now. Look at these things. It's my finest helicopter work. Look at those helicopters coming in there. I think I may have misspelled panda, by the way. Or drop. I'm pretty sure there was a misspelling. Which was not a surprise to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Which was not a surprise to anybody. Okay, there's the buckets in there. So that should hopefully be enough buckets. Oh, sweet. Here's some more. I don't know if there is particles still in the dispensers. Sweet. Okay, where's Cub? Cubsy! Oh, there's the fire, guys. Oh, so cool. So freaking cool. Oh, is he dropping? Wait, watch out, watch out. Watch out, what? Where are you? Where are you? Creeper at the entrance? Be aware, be aware. Beware, 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 be aware. Oh, there was. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. I, apparently yep, I don't have an is, arrow. There he is, you got him, you got him. I don't know if I I've got him. Cool. <laughs> oh dude, I forgot I made the S tier board for this game. I made the S tier board and we never did it. Oh, yeah, here's actually close. some scores. 
Some people have score. Oh, Joe did. Okay, Joe got Joe had a decent score. Okay, impulse. He tried. It's skull. You know he put in an effort. Whoa, false. Of course, false killed it. <laughs> um, cub one thirty. Nice. Okay, I actually got to set this up where we can do a real competition. Let's see. Let's dump my stuff. Oops, sorry. Oh, I forgot the lockers. We had the Are lockers and everything. I can't hear you. You're talking. Oh, I was in a I was in a voice chat. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Join join uh join the voice chat so we can hear each other when we're out of range. Okay. Okay. Uh so where'd my stuff go? <laughs> oh there it is. Sweet. Oh my elytra is nearly dead. Okay, sweet. Are we ready? Are you ready to save the pandas? I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh let's go. Let's do it. Dude, we, I really need to set up the competition for Panda Rescue. Yeah, yeah. Because we got the S tier board. We gotta get our, we gotta get uh, we gotta get some heads up there. Yeah, we do. We really do. I look like you've been wanting to do that for it. like two years. <laughs> what? You've been wanting to do that for like two years. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh my gosh, I forgot how precarious this was. <laughs> this is quite precarious. There's a there's a block missing from my helicopter up there. Is there? Yeah, there's a block. Oh, missing yeah, the rotor. the rotor. Yep. All right, Cub, want to go yep. first? Want to go first? I'll do it. I'll do it. I got this. I got this. Here Never it goes. Doubt. Oh, that's come a long on, delay. On. Let me add it. Let me add it. Let me add it. That's a long delay. Here we go. Oh, it hit oh! a fence. No way. You got to dodge. You got to weave. You got to dodge. That's true. Gotta... You do got to dodge and weave. Oh, the champion. Success. Great Let's success. Go. Now you gotta make it through the magma box. <laughs> yeah, you do have to make it through the magma box. That is a that is a part of the game. That is part of the game. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna go again. Nice, nice, nice. Let me drop off that stuff. Actually I'll bring more buckets up. You gotta put down your score. You gotta put down your score. I didn't I didn't oh uh, I threw the blocks. Oh, that's alright. Alright, this makes me really wanna set up the competition again. You should. Yeah, the true the true S tier must shine. Yep. Yep. We could have a panda drop competition, have a dunk tank competition, all the competitions. Oh yeah. I wanna play dunk tank. Dunk yeah. tank was super fun in season seven. Dude, those helicopters, come on, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Mm-hmm. All right, refill hey, that. Hey, survive. Oh, did you go. make it? I made it. Nice, made nice, it. nice. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. 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 This is bad. Come, this is bad. I don't have my bucket in my hand. Oh my gosh! Saved even with this with a, an attempted sneeze. Let's go. The whole time I'm like, I can't sneeze. I can't sneeze. I'm putting down my score. I'm putting down my score. One ten. It's fun. This is such a fun. This is such a fun <laughs> game. <laughs> it is good. It is good. And you know, Cub, you know, Cub, we're pretty good at this. You know, some of those other hermits, you know, they don't have the LLG yeah. skills that we do. I didn't want to say anything, but uh, there's, there's some, yeah. there are some lackluster attempts, I'll tell you that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Every time I pop up here, I'm afraid I'm going to go right over the edge. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Very precarious. Very precarious. Here we what go. What happened to that block? That, that block must always be missing or somebody must have. I don't know. It might have been the case where I missed it and then was always going to replace it because I built this at like four in the morning the night before. <laughs> oh, I hit a smoke. I hit a smoke block. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right, jump, cut. Wait, wait, wait. Don't jump yet. Don't jump yet. I want to I watch. Oh, it's, I'm already I'm already doing. Oh, there he goes. Hey, you got I it. I survived. Let's go. Well, well done. Well done. Well done. 130. Getting better. Oh, we're very good at this game. We're very good. We are pretty good. We are pretty good. I don't think I've ever made so many blue blocks in my entire life. <laughs> yeah, how many? How, so, Scar, when you built this, it was 4 a.m. the night before when you finished it. Yeah. Did you think, did you think that it would be as crazy as it is when you started out the whole, the whole project? 
Like, I know, I know you wanted, like, a, a helicopter in the air, but did you think you'd have all this, like, magma block, smoke, no, cup, tree? Cup, I got crazy, cup. I, I did too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I, no, it was like I built the thing, and then I was like, and a forest fire, and the trees are on <laughs> fire. Oh, the trees are going to have to have smoke, and now it's four in the morning. Yep. It yeah, was And brutal. you had built a second, there's a second helicopter up there, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's got to hold the helicopter. sign. It's yeah, gotta you gotta hold, hold the, the sign. sign. True, true. No, uh, that that well, I think I did it over two days, but it was that night where I finished this, and we like you and I and Tango built the chairs, and yeah, yep. that's when it like hit like four in the morning, and I was like, oh my gosh, because you know we had just finished the the king stuff, right? Like. You know, you had your oh, like, that's right. You know, yeah, you built yeah, your yeah. wild room and Cleo, Joe, and you know, B Dubs and Re you know, like everybody had their like wild rooms. Like we had just mm -hmm. finished that and then quickly transitioned to this, followed by, like, was it the next day or the day after we went to Empires? Oh, I missed it. Ah. <sighs> It was pretty close after. If it wasn't the next day, it was the day after. Yeah, it was yeah. all it was all in a week. Everything we did. The conclusion of the King story, the charity event, oh. and Empires. Just insane. Yep. Absolutely insane. Yeah, it was crazy. Crazy. Absolutely. Crazy times. Crazy. I remember I remember because we got done with the chairs and then Tango and I were like, okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And, he, and you're like yeah, I still got another hour or two of work to do on this panda drop. And we were like, it's fine. And you're like, no, it must be perfect. It must be perfect. Yeah, like I was like, <laughs> at some point I was like, oh my God, like some of the details, like do I need the lights and the bamboo? And I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, and then I forgot the, the banners. So I had to make the banners and I'm like, I hate banners so much. <laughs> so I had to make those and then I was done. Yeah, yeah. So I was kind of, uh, I was kind of out of it by the time. I was definitely out of it by the time that stream started. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a late night then, those couple nights. Yeah, I, I, we, sometimes we, I we think stayed back, up. I'm like, how did we manage the charity event, wrapping the King story, and the crossover, like, within less than a week? Just crazy. Yeah, the King story, that whole, that whole place, the whole King's Labyrinth got built in like a week. So crazy, Which yeah. Insane. I'm going again, Cub. Here we go. All right, I believe. I believe. I believe. I got this. I got this. I got this. Let's. Oh, oh. no, two in a row. That's bad. That's bad. So very bad. I want to see you drop. Are you up there? Here we go. Here we go. I'm dropping. Survive. Oh, let's, let's go. go. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oh man, I I got I got toasted. <laughs> I got. I got toasted. It is. You have to be very precise, though. Like, this is... Oh, yeah. It's tough. Because you're traveling super fast at the end. Oh, yeah. I assume, like... I wonder how fast you are going. Cub, use your brain. Uh, 10... 12... 25 blocks a second. There we go. 25 blocks a chat. second. Yeah, you get some speed at that last second there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is such a cool area. I wish it was closer to the main area because it's always forgotten. Yeah. It's always forgotten. We do got to get some S tier time. What, what are the categories? Because there's no like... There should be like a category. Is that a Corrales? A Wild Corrales joined and left at the same time. Wild Corrales. Yeah, I need, to, I need to figure out how to do this properly so we can have like a, a proper competition. And then have like a trophy, like the TCG trophies and stuff. Yeah, that'd be really cool. I, I think what you should do, you should have best of three drops, and then do like a bracket tournament. Yeah, like eight people, three drops in each round. Yeah, winner takes all. Yeah, I think maybe that, the last one's like five or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I think that would be cool. That would be good. Okay, Cub, I'm way over three hours. I'm I'm faded. <laughs> Woo! Three hour stream from Skull. That's pretty rare. That's a rare one. Pretty yeah, rare. yeah, that's been a long one. Yeah, well, thanks for doing the panda drop with me. It's fun to give this thing a little love. Um, yeah, this was a, this Absolutely. was a fun one. All right, Cub. Man. See you soon. See, See you soon. Ya. Goodbye. Well, Goodbye. there we go, my friends. That was a really fun stream. We got to rant about all things, all my annoying topics. 
and a little bit of pattern drop and we fixed the cliff so we now have a proper cliff the building's not hanging over the cliff anymore so that is good guys thank you so much for all the messages today all the birthday messages very very much appreciated uh if you haven't seen it yet make sure you check out uh Grian's, mumbo's and my videos today where we uh we did a we did a prank on doc the perimeter and uh if you missed a video earlier this week too we did the entrance to scarland so another fun video is actually going to come out relatively soon um and that's opening scarland so yeah kind of a lot of videos back to back um i can feel it in my bones <laughs> but uh yeah guys thank you so much for all the support uh very very much appreciated and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and with that, we shall see who out in the wonderful worlds of Twitch are out there to raid. Let's see who we've got. Who do we have? Hey, Jojo's on. Let's, uh, let's raid Jojo. So, guys, once again, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. We might stream tomorrow. We may. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but, uh, yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you so much for all the birthday messages. Mods couldn't do it without you, as always. Thank you for all the subscriptions, resubscriptions, bits, and tips. Very much appreciated. And if you're new around here, make sure you hit the follow button and make sure notifications are enabled. We don't stream super often, so you want to be notified when we do. And we're going to raid a JoJo. Wonderful JoJo. So say hi to JoJo for me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. And uh, yeah, see you later, Christmas. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's not working. How do I turn it off? Why is it not working? Oh, nope. There it goes. Oh, yep. Okay, bye.